understanding. Let's come to an 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 understanding. I said, let's come to an understanding. 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 What is What's up, everybody? We are live with Ryan Long, all the way from New York. Ryan, you're in New oh, York. There right we now. go. Yeah. Sick. What's dude. up, man? Good to see you. Look at that dark in the building. I know you guys. You guys make me insecure with uh, your lighting. Yeah, turn the light got on. Nice Drew. lighting. It's Jesus. too. It's too harsh when I turn it on, though. That's that's my problem. I don't. I don't like the. Hey, man, you want to be in the show biz? Put that light know, on, but baby. But I, I'm the darker telling you, you it's are, worse. the brighter the light. Figure it out, dude. You know. <laughs> That's it. They'll tell you on set too. The the director of photography is going to be like this. When I was doing this kid show, the director of photography right. be like, be like, you want to see what I'm working with? Too, here? too dark. Put double light on him. He's too dark. Look at him. If you step back, you are finished, Amish. You're a good. You're a bad guy now. Oh, villain. Oh, <laughs> that's a yeah, bit when much. It, when it's dark like that, you definitely like look like you'd be sitting in your basement reviewing girls' tits for your Instagram <laughs> channel. <laughs> and and these aren't helping, Ryan. I this is not a, helping. I give that a three point five. <laughs> <laughs> well, these headsets were like. <laughs> yeah, we have the gamer headsets, so we yeah. got like total incel vibes going on now, one hundred percent. Yeah, the gamer headsets aren't bad. I mean, the mic's better. If you, I mean, Amish, how come you don't do the mic now? Just you like that better? It's a it's an all in one piece, and it was a Corona like it was just like a quick Corona thing. Yeah. But this is Logitech. We're sponsored, I looked up we're a sponsored bunch of by websites. Logitech. Yeah, we got a Logitech sponsor, so. We, okay. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I dated a girl that worked at like a sales company, so she just jacked this for me. But apparently, it was like sixty bucks. <laughs> Drew had to pay for his. But I, when I looked it up, it was like this is legit. These logic. That's how cheap Amish is. Where because <laughs> you have you have probably good gear, but you're using your sixty dollar one because it was free. <laughs> He's like the three hundred. Did you sell your actual real mic? <laughs> no, it reminds well, me. Baby. It reminds me of a point when he had intimacy in his life. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh. Uh, well, how's it going in New York? How's, how's the hotbed? How's, <laughs> how's COVID central? I turned my thing down a little bit. Was I clipping? How does that sound to you guys? It sounds good. Okay, sounds good, I man. I was coming in a little hot. Dude, Ryan's such a sound pro, dude. He's but like, you've produced like 10 rock albums. So this guy knows fucking sound. Yeah, I used to, and then I forgot it all, but... <laughs> yeah, well, then you put it all in that sketch. That sketch is so tight, where you're making fun of the sound guy. No, no, Ev thanks. Everyone that's into sound, if I send that to them, they lose their shit, basically. Nice. Great sketch. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah, I'm still in uh, New York, so I've been here. Like, there's... Uh, the. I think what I'm going to do is as soon as red states like start opening up like uh, <laughs> Texas and Houston. So yeah. Texas, Miami's open. Like they already opened up. That's where Danny is. And then on the 19th. Boom. 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 Go red state, boy. I got my yeah. hat on. <laughs> You're going to go try to wave in that COVID freedom. Yeah. So I, it looks like the 19th, <laughs> they're going to open up bars at like half capacity in like a bunch of states. So I'm going to, I'm going to, Airbnb my place for a couple months and then go move to one of those places. Wow. So you're gonna, yeah. so you're gonna potentially get some with COVID coming into your place and then go to a place where yeah. the COVID. Oh, might I, I guess I haven't out. talked to you guys in a while, but <laughs> I, I, am I to assume that you guys are like super worried about all this stuff? Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the counter arguments. I'm seeing the counter arguments being like it's, it's. Look, it's overblown. Probably, it's probably like overblown to be safe, like yeah. everything else in Canada. Like we just, we just like, it, like one drunk drinking and driving accident, and we're gonna be like, no more. Put them right. in jail for, you know what I mean? Like that's kind of what people do. Do people are like react like that? I mean, listen, I'm just like, do you want to be the a fucking down. mother telling people to stay in their house, or do you want to be a fucking cool dude? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just saw the uh, Roger Ailes documentary. You, uh, you you watch any of those? No. What's that about? It's about the guy. Who how, made how, when, did, when was it released, Amish? When was it released? It's old. Well, Bombshell came out in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bombshell <laughs> came out last summer. Okay, Drew, you haven't seen either of them yet. This guy. I know, <laughs> but, you, but we do. This is a current event show, so you can't be like, I just saw this thing that came hey. out. Like hey, I'll, I'll tie gonna, it up, Mr. Stump. Oh, like for it's Joe in the Biden this guy's this guy's stumping you know? for Joe Biden for free. Oh my now listen. God. <laughs> He's a Al Biden Franken. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just Again. get right into it. I think Al Franken uh, should be the president, <laughs> but before, <laughs> should be the next president. Um, 
Ryan, did you see that whole case that happened with uh, with uh, with Al Franken? Where they yeah, just, Ryan, uh, did you see that thing that happened three years ago with Al three Franken? Three years ago, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are a topical uh, news and event show. So hey, man, that's why he's going to come back now and run for president. But let Ryan, Ryan, <laughs> no, go ahead. What was it? Al Franken was being like a fun guy, from what I understand. I think that these these conservative talk show hosts basically wasn't that the thing though. He was yeah. he was like he was like at a party and he like pretended to touch the girls. No, 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 took, Ryan, you're gonna like love this story. Photo. Huh? He no, took no, no, a no. gag photo. He took a gag photo on a plane. Yeah, I'm talking about Ryan. The guy wrote political satire. Yeah, he wrote a pol- a piece of political satire, and the girl who was in the political satire with him was like, I didn't like it. He was like really creepy and like creepy with me. I didn't like it. And they just, they cancel him. <laughs> and basically, these, but it's like satire. Yeah. That's who they're making fun of. So yeah, these no guys got together. Yeah, no safe on that fucking, on that. Like, everyone is kind of getting canceled one by one, it feels like. <laughs> well, he's he's making his inroads. Well, again, this was, but again, this was three years ago. Three years ago, but uh, right. two weeks ago, I, he made his first appearance back on MSNBC. He's yeah. making his inroads again. Okay, so frankly, he's 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 paid his due to society, and like people are allowing him to come back now. Well, it's well, no, back the story. Back the the story re- was, I mean, sh- you're like glossing over a whole bunch of shit. The the story <laughs> go, go. was, well, yeah, well, please. The the story, <laughs> the story was that uh, he was doing this USO tour like in 2000 and like seven or 2008 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And one of the women on the tour with him. Uh, she ended up becoming like a Republican kind of operative and then be- became really popular in like conservative talk radio in LA. And yeah. at the time, uh, there was a photo of them on a plane where she was like sleeping and Al Franken like the, mimicked the like like grabbing yeah. her or whatever. And like then I she said, he's a sick dude. Yeah. Yeah. So she, Fun but guy. she used that, but, but there was a whole kind of like an investigation no, no. by the New Yorker after the fact yeah. that like uncovered that there was kind of a coordinated effort by a bunch of like conservative operators yeah. to, to get him to like, actually make a titties. story. But also what yeah, you're, there was a coordinated effort from another uh, eight guys on the plane that were all chanting titties. That's what I read. Right. I think Lim- that's the, what Rich Limbaugh said. I don't know. Well, the thing that you love about this is that he's doing it's it's part of a political satire piece that they're doing for the U, for the for the army so the joke the in tour. the sketch the uso tour so the joke that he did in this yeah. in the sketch was like i'll be the creepy guy but in the end one of these guys is gonna win and then in the end they can all be like yeah the real man got her you know what i mean yeah she yeah. just it's took like when the you first sort of like ironically rape someone and then you're like oh okay, <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> i remember oh, you were okay, telling me I... <laughs> it's, like, it's like a satire you know satire you gotta make fun of you know, I was explaining to you how satire works. <laughs> I remember years ago. I remember years ago, Ryan. You were telling me like you were talking. You were basically dissing like a Canadian show, and you're like, they don't know what fucking satire is, dude. They don't I, get I, it. It it is. Uh, I, I read a lot of articles about comedy where you're like, it feels like they really don't understand. Like the, it, you know, it's. I was thinking no. this the other day. It's kind of like a language that they sort of like they understand vaguely but yep. they don't really actually understand how it works. They understand the way that someone studying the language who doesn't know how to speak it would understand it, but they can't, they really don't understand that. Well, I mean, well, I, yeah, I it's think- a way, it's a way to make us like a story. Like if you're writing like journalism, you're not trying to be like, I think what they were trying to do comedically here was that yeah. like, if you're especially, it's not, not even journalism. Cause like the Al Franken piece that was in the New Yorker, she yeah. was like, he is a comedian. So like, Everyone and she, she saw that photo the satire could understand, like, given his. No, but I like, bet you most his repertoire couldn't couldn't tell you the difference between satire and irony. Like, I really yeah. bet you they could. But That's, this wasn't even this the article the in the New Yorker wasn't even a comedic journalist. It was just someone being no, like, I, "We talked to like former cast members of SNL. Like, this was clearly a joke, right? Yeah. Like that." But I'm saying like most kind of clickbaity things or like anything to kind of like get a reaction out of people or or cause a stir. Is it's they're not gonna try to look for any nuance. Like I'll give an example. Did you see this thing with uh, Allison Roman that came like this? There was a huge uh, like beef over the weekend. She's like yeah. a cooking writer. For Someone the Times. With, I, you know what? I'm bon appetit. The, the girl's gonna be happy because she was telling me this whole thing, and I was like, yeah, who cares? She's like, you don't get it. It's important. And I'm like, listen, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, really I don't give a right flag, now. Dude. And well, what was, was her red take? state, baby? We're moving to a oh, red this, state. <laughs> what was her All take? This. So. The the gist is it was her versus uh, John Legend's wife. What's her name again? Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen, who follows me on Instagram. Shout out. Uh, oh, shout out. <laughs> yeah, shout out. <laughs> um, basically, she, she, my, I mean, her take was uh, that like, 
the, the Chrissy Teigen and those people are like losers and she likes uh, the cooking blog. My take was it sounds like this person sort of cultivated an artist, cultivated an audience of like whatever on the backs of like feminism and woman power and all that. And then she wanted to sort of be like the cool hip person that's like Chrissy Teigen and those people are sellouts. And then it sounds like that those people like turned on her and she thought her she would probably thought she would have more support but it was like nah if you want to be like the cool person you know like first of all you're making cooking videos for the starters so you probably don't have an audience that's like super hip to fucking yeah, yeah. fuck Chrissy Teigen like you're in the wrong I think she's in the wrong circles if she wants to be like the hip, hip cool cooker and blog person well well, this yeah. is this is and, my, and take my take I know with even with the, especially with the Al Frank case that people don't look into what the real story is they just kind of go like well I'm not touching it so like if you put us put certain like i guess buzzwords on it whatever then people just kind of go like okay i'm not yeah. touching this but so some with, people just with, do with, what they do you know what i mean it's like kind of like yeah she did what she did tried to seem cool chrissy teigen what de- she did was a loser and the internet yeah. did what they did try to cancel people it's like everyone's just fucking doing their part well yeah, yeah that's that's my take on it because what she was saying pretty much was like she doesn't know if she wants to take a similar career route to like chrissy teigen or marie kondo where you become this whole lifestyle brand and you make like, you know, yeah. pots and pans with your name on it yeah, and yeah. all this stuff. She's like, that to me is like gross. She's like, she I would talk her shit. That. But, but that's I, what, but I mean. what I mean. She f- wants to be like, I know, like, I'm the fucking cool hip cooking person. I don't exactly. Sell out. You're still yeah. like a cooking blogger. Like, well, the crazy <laughs> thing about it though is the crazy thing about it though is she yeah. just put out she just put out like an apology on Twitter and Instagram tonight. That's because she was getting beat up for it. She just overplayed her hands straight up. Yeah, but she's getting yeah. beat up for it. But the whole apology is around like I should have acknowledged that as like prominent Asian American women that Chrissy Teigen and Marie Kondo uh, are getting flack from I'll me. tell you but Drew this is this what is happened she right wasn't ready for this life she tried to be like fuck these people I'm cool I'm not a sellout no, she got beat I don't up even think it's like, like that. I'm so sorry internet <laughs> nah she took I, a shot at being cool and she wasn't ready for that life. I don't even yeah. think it goes that deep though I think what she realized was like she was she was trying to act like I want to she, she's like I want to make my money she's like I want to get paid but I want to get paid a certain way yeah. And I don't love how they're getting paid. So I'm just going to, you know, call out how they're getting paid because I don't like this. Is literally, the reason like, she called that out is be, like, in my opinion, again, we could, there, this is an opinion, but to me, yeah. few, like, from actually having forced fed it down my throat and having to look at it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this girl's like, going to move to the red state with you, Ryan? We'll talk yeah, about that after. She was but. obviously saying in the article, the reason she's saying that is because she wants people to think she's cool. Like, straight up, it was yeah. like, and you're saying that, like, no, she was just saying that she didn't want to be a solo. Yeah, because she was, like, obviously feeling like she was no, I agree like with a solo. So she's, no, like, no, no. she's and, kind and of fe- putting feelers out in the interview, like, I'm not, just so you guys know, I'm not a solo like these other people. That, no, and that's the best you. thing about it. Drew, 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 but... chill, chill. But this is the same thing that happened with the Al Franken accuser where oh, they, she got manipulated <laughs> into this, and she uh-huh. just goes into it, and she doesn't even understand the politics of it. So that's when you what hear her interviews... She doesn't even know. She was just like, I, yeah. I thought it was cool to say she that. She didn't know. She didn't know what the word hornet's nest she was stepping into. She wasn't ready for that life. Yeah. Even, and it, no, but but that's not even my point, though. My point is she was trying to say, like, there's a way to make your money, and I'm trying to make my money this way. For sure, I agree with you. She was trying to get the cool points and all that. Yeah, like but every what I'm bothered by, says, like, I'm what I'm bothered to- by is that people come at you because you say that, like, if, like, for example, if you said, I don't want to make Rob Schneider movies as a comedian, right? Would people yeah. come at you and be like, you know, Rob Schneider is a prominent Asian American voice in comedy, and how dare you make fun of how I think story. I think they I would. I mean, yeah. like, I that's that it, the part that I don't get. Dude, any, if Amy like, Schumer, if Amy Schumer came out right now and said, like, you know, I'm not trying to take the fucking and pick some like black girl. I'm not trying to take the whoever black girl root or something. Route. Yeah, you don't think she would get beat up for that? Of course, she I'm would. not trying to get in a feud yeah. with Charlemagne about not getting my payout from Netflix. <laughs> I'm t- yeah for sure <laughs> yeah. Up on that. Yeah. but if you're gonna be you know if you're gonna fucking be like a internet like troublemaker where you're calling people out by names and blogs and stuff then you got to be prepared to fucking you know publicly fight them especially people who their whole life is being on the internet and arguing with people and whatever 100 like yeah. chrissy yeah. teigen's the whole thing is like getting mad at trump and whatever tweeting at people and this and that yeah, it is know. it is fake and we're seeing that like come out more and more i think like even and this is where i keep telling this guy like al franken's back on msnbc two weeks ago this guy is he this back is in the her, game back Bong. in the game back baby. from the dead but but i think Whoa. i think with with like a lot of like these uh these lefties are getting they got they they played themselves a little bit because it's like now all you have is biden like al franken 
was a real contender, man. He could have oh, ran yeah. for president. He was a senator. He has a better resume than Obama did. It's insane how, like, they do not have a better candidate than that. I was, it's, I was just they thinking, had, like, they I've been talking about this, too, but you're just like, think of, well, I guess they canceled all them, but you're like, how are you not, how was, like, the first, it's the first year Trump got elected. It's like, okay, what are the list of, like, 100 top people? Give me the ones that are good-looking, charismatic, fucking amazing speakers, top of their class. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. And let's put all those 100 people in a position where they can- No one likes Pete president. Buttigieg. No one likes Pete Buttigieg, Ryan. <laughs> no, <laughs> <but> <laughs> dude, 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 they tried. <laughs> I, think, I think conservatives are so hardworking that they got together and said, let's just fucking cancel Al Franken. We'll, we'll get him out in two months. No, but conservatives don't pussy. have to be charismatic like that. Like, they do a little bit, but if you think about it, it's like liberals, if you're going to be like a socialist, you kind of need to be like rah, 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 like fucking, charming? you know. You got to be charming because you're selling the dream, you know what I mean? And Not necessarily, like, though. Conservatives are totally all Maybe a socialist that wasn't a per, a per, that wasn't wasn't like a big personality that kind of you most know, like socialists most Obama, socialists. JFK, like fucking Clinton. These guys are like fucking sexy. Also, they're not like, socialists. Obama and JFK? Whatever. Left wing. You're left talking wing, about like yeah, a, like but a I mean, what about, what about Ronald Reagan or George Bush? Like, those guys had charisma. Yo, Reagan was like, sexy, yeah. dude. Anyone, anyone, anyone sexy. who, becomes, anyone who becomes president, I mean, except for Nixon, an actor. Like, they, Yeah, but they're not they hip. Have, I mean, the, the, the left wing guys almost have to be hip, you know? Because they're kind of like true. telling the youth. Reagan was the head of the kind actors' of. union in America. He was head of SAG, so he must have been very charming and charismatic. They must have <laughs> loved him. <laughs> he was, he, he... But you know what, though, Amish? Can I just bring something back to what you're saying? Because you keep harping on the al franken thing hey man and bring him back baby you're out here stumping for biden this guy's already saying like <laughs> he likes biden hey, this guy's already saying like well we gotta vote for biden guys <laughs> hey let's be practical someone's gotta beat trump it's like hey guys pull your head out of your ass go bring back al franken this is what i keep trying to tell this guy it's like you it. have oh, no, no, but i mean what you're talking about is insane and it's never gonna happen they're, they're not al franken is not just gonna be pulled from i haven't maturity. heard that name in three years yeah. yeah exactly like he's what? right <laughs> because why because this is true people like drew are like just get behind biden shut up but, but slowly he's coming back I mean, on were MSNBC. you into bernie did you were you did you like bernie were you like a bernie guy oh dude i thought bernie was incredible i know yeah, you like we're both, yeah, we're you're both into bernie, bernie. Yeah, your guys are like we're bernie, both bernie oh yeah guys. i thought bernie was very <laughs> rational and very like I thought he was very logical, Ryan. I know yeah. we have an ideological difference on this, and I love you, but you are more conservative than, than I am. And like, I'm not, but yeah. I think, I think okay, but you don't like... Okay, but Amish, not, Amish just tried to character assassinate, and he got yeah. the clap back. What do you <laughs> have to say to that, Amish? No, 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 but, but it's a, it's, this is what our disagreement would be, like what our definition of conservative is, I guess. So like, let's, let's take that label out of it yeah, and say, to sure. me, I don't think Bernie was terrible. Like I, I heard so much of his stuff. No, I think I he's got to be the realest person in American politics in like forever like uh, i don't know, think... i just don't, i mean i'm guessing you guys have talked about this a million times but for me it wasn't i actually don't oh shit he's cutting out dude the deep state is getting ryan i can't hear you guys anymore holy fuck yo you there ryan's, ryan's going to the bathroom oh shit dude it was okay it says that it was just recording this whole time but it froze for like a minute there right when he was going into the real shit and now Ryan's the host, actually. Since you left, Ryan became the host. Okay, fuck. Let's just hope that See what happens? You, you try to character assassinate. You, you, say, you, you take <laughs> our guest and you go, I, I know you're Mr. Conservative. Can we just, uh, can we you get a response to, to Amisha's yeah, attack yeah. there? Uh, <laughs> well, no, the reason you. is, yeah. okay, so just in terms of Amisha. <laughs> <laughs> it's not obviously I, obviously ryan is not a republican. you know what the people the, no 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 what the problem is so i'm not a i'm not a democrat or republican or anything but yeah. i find that sometimes my argument against people like you is is that it's kind of like people like amish are like this is a war happening and no one gets to not participate so you either say you're on my <laughs> side or you're on the other side <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah. you think Amisha, Amisha is uh, ideologically um, rigid and you're more like poly, you're more polyamorous. In, in your well, well, I'm neither. I, like, to me, it's like people are like, <laughs> what do you identify? I'm like, I've never voted. Like, I've yeah. never voted in my life. I'm not like, you know, I don't give a shit. I'm a, if anything, I just, you know, it's, it's like if you, it depends on when you ask me. Like, I've been alive long enough to see both sides get out of control yeah. and both sides become the puritanical side. That's happened twice, you know, both times in my lifetime. True. I'd say that like, mm -hmm. the only thing that politically you might be able to pin me down is that I do tend to, you know, go towards freedom over safety, if you were to say, you know, yeah, yeah. Liber liberty versus, you know, safety. I think that I'm, I'm, a, I'm generally a freedom person. And those but you were, you were also maybe going to say, even say, like, what, what did you think of Bernie? I think that 
I thought that uh, his problem was he didn't want to go for the kill shots. Like he was, he was kind of, he didn't have the sauce. Like, <laughs> he, you know what I mean? Like even when Hillary yes. Clinton was like, you know, no one wants to work with him. He could have been like, you're the most dishonest politician in the history of the world. No, you, you lost the most, like what? Bam, bam, bam. Even Bring Trump it. was like, yeah. So he, he never really, you, you like, people would come and I remember when, uh, you know, when uh, fucking Elizabeth Warren or whatever, like, basically said this, you'd be like, you get, you stole my entire platform from the beginning. You know, you've been, you literally have zero right, integrity. Is- You're, you just stole my platform without the history yeah. to back it up. And you have the, whatever. It's like, I actually have a history of helping better w- women better than you. But whatever he wants to say, he just wasn't like, I felt like you he didn't have the spice. Have it in him. He didn't he have the spice. Heat on it. He didn't have the Dude, sauce, yeah. even bring it back to Al Franken. Al Franken quit. Had, he he had, even says, okay. dude, he says it himself. He's like, he's like, I just, I wanted everyone to be my friend. Yeah. Everyone I mean, started that's... getting mad at me, so I just quit. Like, Gillibrand, all these other politicians in the Senate are just ripping on him. So he's like, yeah. fine, I'll quit. They didn't even have to fucking convict him. So can you imagine these talk show hosts are like, this loser fucking quit himself. They're probably 100%. doing a competition of like, who you think he'll last eight months, you think he'll last a year or whatever. This guy's like, Bing, bing, bing. I win. He, uh, I'll franken quit. <laughs> he's such a softy that he just couldn't take coming into work. I mean, he's a nice guy, though. <laughs> he was a well, They were, like, now. destroying his life. I don't know what you what you mean to me. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure. Hey, man, <laughs> you're you a know senator, what? dude. You're a lot of stuff out. You want to be the president? You want to be a senator? This is who you're up against. Bring the yeah, heat. Yeah, and you, and you need to be able to – I mean, it's the same reason why a lot of times, like, guys like Howard Stern, I find that they're not – good at like the edgy game anymore because it's like that game requires everyone to hate you it requires so much negative yes. like you got to be in that fucking war and ready for it and if yeah. you kind of have any little bit of like yeah but i don't want to so that was that's what i felt bernie had a lot of that he didn't he didn't want to yeah. be like the hated guy he, so he you know it felt like he he didn't have that in him well i mean he yeah. was he definitely was the hated guy i just think it's like his uh Not really though you know yeah for sure i mean there's a lot of people in the democratic establishment who hated him i one well, of my he wasn't friends. hated by the like the right as much yeah he was hated by liberals like well, there's no one that hates fucking bernie more than like you know establishment fucking Democrats. liberals yeah they hated well, no, him the most, right yeah. the right definitely hated him but they they saw him as being like a tool cuz they, they thought that if them. they ran against bernie they'd have a better shot yeah, than I if disagree they ran against the I, biden as someone who probably does, you know, as Amish would say, no more of those people. I would say that more of the consensus is we would agree with what most of Bernie Sanders saying, probably just disagree on his solution, his like, and his, his, uh, what he diagnoses as the solution. Like, you know, all the stuff he's saying about the banks, all the stuff he's saying about schools, like there's so many things that I'm like, Bernie's bang on. And then his solution is, so what we need to do is, and I'm like, what? <laughs> but Your like, solution the, is what, no, sorry? I, Depends well, on the thing. Like, for example, with the schools, right? The uh-huh. fact that it's like overpriced, you know, he's like, this is overpriced. We'd have, it's a terrible school system. And he's like, so what we need to do is have the government fund it all for free. And you're like, what? Like to see, me, that, the, that's where we disagree though, Ryan. Yeah. I think you we disagree on the solution. Agree on that. Yeah. But we but, agree on the, we agree on the problems. Well, but I his agree with him was loser, His solution I, I wasn't him to make it, make it all for free. And, and cut his solution him. was to make like public universities free. So his, his solution was like anything that's like a state problem. It's kind of like, buy it for free no but i understand but i guess how i would see that like which is disagree like the again like a most for the most part i think bernie sanders is like identifying real problems with society that i agree with but Mm -hmm. then for me the problem with college is you know you have 12 years to get a publicly funded school right and then you have four more years that has become like the biggest ripoff in the history of the world so it's you know one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. so imagine there was this restaurant that was you know every restaurant was charging you eight thousand dollars for a meal and we're like okay this is a problem this should not be eight thousand dollars for the meal and like yeah. his solution is like the government should pay for that meal yeah, and, but like, right, no, you the, just mentioned the it meal shouldn't years. cost that the problem is yeah. like the problem is that this is a scam from the fucking ground up the whole thing needs to be like torn down and like right but what he's but, saying but, is like you, if you want to go to harvard or princeton or like brown or you want to go to like pence like uh i don't know any any privately like yeah. held institution he has no jurisdiction over that but what he's saying is like state run colleges mm-hmm. publicly funded colleges already getting money from them from the government in large part we want to make those tuition free so more people have yeah. access to look, it no, and look, then look, as, as a result you're going to you have a market think, effect where the, pu- no, the privately you. run institutions yeah. are going to have to bring down their prices because they can't compete 
with yeah. free at the state level. Yeah, so it's yeah. just ex- pretty much extending like uh, high school an extra four years. That's no, no, and, 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 I understand. And, and when, when you yeah. look at those, when you look at and his numbers, when, when, you get, when, you get, when you get all the way into his numbers, though, his numbers aren't any worse than conservatives. Like, it's not like conservatives are saving money. He's got a solution. It wastes just as much money. The thing I do agree with you on, Ryan, is that he, is, he did pull back in the fight. Like, and a lot of people agree with you on that, that there were times where he needed to be more cutthroat and he needed to go, he needed to get after Hillary even the first time and be like, this she's full of shit. And he just didn't have that in him. Now, as far as politics in him. And then, you know what, the only one other thing that I'll say about Bernie, and you can tell me whether you disagree with this or not, this isn't like that strong of an opinion, but it was my criticism of him, is that I, I listened to some debates and stuff and I heard him on like three different, four different places. And I felt like, it was sneaky how he would go on like Joe Rogan and then, you know, they would ask him, they would ask, I remember he would go on like places like that. Right. And yeah, they would mm-hmm. go, what do you think of guns? Like gun control? He's like, you know, it's like a huge problem, but I don't know the exact, you know, I'm not trying to take away anyone's guns, but this is something that we need to do something about. So hopefully we can come together and get a right. solution and, and some common sense. Right. And then, and then he, you watched him at like a Democrat, or like a rally with laughing people. And he goes, what do you think about guns? He goes, we are going to pry every gun. Out of he goes, we will. I heard him. He goes, for baby. He goes, we will have the most comprehensive gun reform in the history of this country. And I was just like, yeah. Oh, you're like, Saying a completely different thing was different. I mean, whatever. No, he was, Joe you know, Rogan has that's that's a Joe Rogan I mean, effect. If you're saying that's if you're gonna Joe have Rogan comprehensive, effect. if you're gonna have comprehensive gun reform, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna take like guns away from everybody. He was like yelling, yeah. "I'm I forbade. I'm gonna take guns <laughs> yeah. away from you." No, but that's the Joe Rogan effect, Ryan. You gotta okay. admit that the right wing maniacs they come on Joe Rogan, they sound cool too, dude. Yeah. Ben Shapiro, the first time I heard him on Joe Rogan, I'm like, this guy's reasonable. On I would agree with you. I would agree with you on that too. Yeah, but but if I would agree with you, yeah. Honest. Yeah, like, 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 like he's he's a politician and he's got to sell it. I think if you, I'm just numbers, saying, Bernie Sanders kind of presents himself as like a very like honorable sort of, you know, that's almost like his charm to some degree. I which, don't think that he I likes personal into. attacks. Yeah, he doesn't like to personally attack he can't people. Take it. He can't like take if he if he respects yes. them, he has no problem like going after Donald Trump or something <laughs> like that. But if he knows you on like a personal level, and it's also yeah. partly like I think it's also part of the politician in him where yeah. he doesn't want to like spoil the apple cart too much. To bring it back to the Alice and Roman thing, that's what I think her whole thing was about. Because she realized that she was going to spoil the apple cart by talking spicy. And the only thing that really made it bad, because she also ta- takes down Gwyneth Paltrow in that uh, article. Yeah, she makes uh, fun of Goop, yeah. right? <laughs> but everyone goop. online, they don't give a shit about what she says about Gwyneth Paltrow. It's only against Chrissy Teigen and Mary Kondo because they're, they're making it an identity politics thing. Which to also me is almost a bit more... people have a big internet following that's like an army too. Well, so, does, so does Gwyneth yeah. Paltrow though, right? Like it's that's not like Gwyneth true. Paltrow doesn't. For me, it's, it's, I think it's almost more racist though to say like I can't criticize like Chrissy Teigen or Mary Kondo's like approach to capitalism or their hypocrisy and their capitalism yeah. because they're Asian. You know what I mean? Like that. How dare you? Like, you How can't dare have it. I'm going to call Xi Jinping right now. I'm going to send this to Xi Jinping. Yeah. Talk to, about Asian people like that. No, I get very offended when you talk about Asian people too. You know, Zoom, this whole thing's owned by, uh, owned by Xi Jinping. Yeah. We all better watch Xi Jinping. Asses, oh God. Xi Jinping <laughs> oh, is God. coming for all of us, dude. He owns all of this. I think Zoom is Chinese, isn't it? Maybe. But whatever, I think, any an Ameri- business- I think it's a, I think it's like a, an American guy who's of Chinese extraction. Oh, okay, I mean, because because so what are you trying to say? What TikTok are you trying to is say? owned. I'm saying that Xi Jinping owns fucking everything, dude. If anything in their country, he has Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. He's the he's the prime minister of China, dude. Uh, president. Okay. He's a president, but he basically is the dictator for life now. He took it the over, pres- and he's like, I'm gonna take it over for the life. The president of China's name's. What you just said? Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. What happened to the last guy? <laughs> Mao. Hu Jintao. No, Oh, Hu Jintao was, the, was the last one. Hu Jintao. Was like Zing, wasn't it? X I N or something? Am I making that up? No, Xi oh, Jinping. X I N G is Xi Jinping. It's like. Oh, uh, okay. So I just don't know how to spell it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just you don't know how to spell it. You pronounce it like, like Elon. You pronounce like Elon Musk's new baby's name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You're, like, you're like, you're like, oh, who's the guy running against it? No, nobody. It's just him <laughs> forever till the end. He rewrote the book. If you think about who's before him, it was basically Mao. Because they were running on Mao thought, and then Xi Jinping is like, now we're running on Xi Jinping thought. Right. Until he dies, and probably another 50 years, and then other people have to come in and really fuck with his philosophy. They keep going back and forth on, like, uh, 
anyone they'll say something good about the Chinese and then they'll be like, look at this guy. He said something good about the Chinese. And then they'll like, then they'll be like, oh, he's not saying enough about the Chinese. He's racist. Like they can't make up their mind on in the media of like what opinion they want you to have on China right now. <laughs> it is a tricky spot, dude. I mean, my, the brown card goes a long way, you know, and that's yeah. why. Well, that's did why you see the woman at the press conference with Donald Trump today who was like uh, asking him about reopening and if that's going to be safe? And then he goes, and she was an Asian American reporter, and he goes, "Why don't you ask China? Why don't you ask China about that?" <laughs> and then she goes, "He's out." Of why did you ask me to ask China? Is there any reason why you asked me? And he's like, "No reason I asked. No reason I asked you. No reason I." <laughs> Trump's been pwning reporters out here. <laughs> Trump, Trump has the best comedy show on the air right now. Like Dude, he's getting. I thought it, I, he's had some fucking bangers. When the person was like, "Hey, I was looking at the price of oil today, and uh, it was like down. What do you think about that?" And he goes, uh, what, "What's the price of oil today?" And the guy goes, oh, I'm not sure. And he goes, you said you were just looking at it. And he goes, uh, I'm not sure. He goes, next question. <laughs> He's a vicious, He's a fucking man. oil reporter and you don't know what the fucking price is. Yeah, no. He doesn't fucking that was a good. Man. That was a good bluff on Trump's car, though, because there's no way he knows. And I, and I bet you that if the guy <laughs> no, no. had the number, Trump, yeah, yeah. Trump would be like, well, well, to me, that sounds like a good number. I don't know. That sounds like a pretty good number. <laughs> I like that number. That's a beautiful number. No, that's, that's a beautiful you, number. You got to watch the Roger Ailes, that TV show. It's so tight, okay. man. And it's all basically yeah. getting him in power. And it's just them fucking with liberals, man. The whole time, they're just in the back laughing. Even right. even when they did that, like, because when Obama was in office, they did this thing. It's like, it's a hand jab a terrorist fist the terrorist, jab. Fist, the terrorist fist bump yeah the terrorist fist they yeah. called it a jab or like a or something anyway this mm -hmm. roger ailes and the other guy are just laughing at fox be like these idiots they they took it can you believe it they think this is a real they think we think that like they're like they're laughing about all of it but i guess yeah. it is it's just like al franken too they basically are like these guys are such losers that we can just <laughs> manipulate them and make like oh, a whole yeah. I mean, look at, you've seen with COVID how easily everyone just fucking updated their programming to be like, I'm a stay at home guy now, you know? It did, I, I don't know. It didn't take, <laughs> hey, I'm doing great at home. I love it. I'm not but, saying to stay home, but I'm saying like, there's a lot of people that like entire identity right now is, you know, revolving around like yelling people out the internet to stay at home and whatever. But not yeah, I'm not doing bad, that. But it's like, I'm saying straight up, it was you, you, it's so easy to manipulate like an entire population into, you know, changing their entire fucking yeah. identity overnight you know so but i mean like you? i don't know like people who are gonna be like that are already gonna be like that like people who would call else. you out on something online yeah. or, or or like to be like super public about their life are gonna be finding the new way to like chase clout and do that however yeah. they're going to I well agree, this yeah. this is an interesting debate though right now where like i am seeing people start to like doubt they're like did covid hey dude i said this fucking eight months ago but or not eight months ago uh when would that have been like uh two months ago <laughs> two months <laughs> ago yeah eight months in the future. no the point was eight months in the future i said i because a lot of people were getting mad at me and they're saying like you should this is i was getting messages saying like, this is wildly irresponsible of you for like being outside your house and filming and all this shit and I, you had the yeah. extendo mic you made it yeah yeah you had the yeah. extendo mic but i was obviously like making a mockery of the thing and i was you know they were like, mad yeah. about that ryan they were just so, a lot of people were mad about it. And I, I've said to a lot of people, this is what I said. I go, I thought it was funny. I yeah, thought it was so funny. Thank you. Yeah. And but it's I said important people, work. I go, in eight months, watch every single one of those people you respect is going to now say that, like, this was an overreach. That's my opinion. But, you know, and I don't know if you guys, you know, agree with it or whatever. I don't but know if it's going to I, I bet you gonna say it's an overreach. It's great. I don't think man. they're going to say it's an overreach because, I mean, listen, a, a lot of people's lives definitely <clears> have been saved by. Keeping and a lot of in. people's lives have been ruined by it too. You know, it, it's a trade off. Like I'm not, it, fucking, you know, I'm not. Yeah, it, it's it's no. forcing people's, us to look. People's but, but, but lives have numbers been ruined, strictly but numbers I mean, wise, and this goes again back to like even Bernie Sanders shit is like strictly numbers wise. America and Brazil, they're go they're doing it the shittiest, man. Like India has been. Yeah. I mean, okay, India's always going to fake the numbers, but I'm talking about Europe, Canada. Like we're dealing with it better, and well, maybe there's so, a how bit. Come, you think? Because they're just not, their numbers are through the roof, and because they they yeah. America well, has had this different place, lowest man. population, you have to account for. And right? New York's the and fucking density. Like, travel hub of the universe. Percentage wise, though, too, it's worse. America's worse. It's right, it's but I mean, like, I mean, I mean, you have to account for like population density. You have to account for like resources. Yeah, they're not New so, York City. You know what I mean? Let's play, like Toronto's not fucking. New look, York. man, as a country, if you look at how Brazil and America is handling it, it's just not yeah. as good as Europe and shit. Like they have right. some places that are densely populated, some places that aren't. Being careful it's gonna end up saving I mean, like, but i see the argument think, like know? it is they yeah. are overblowing they are like 
dude, I, I know so are many hitting people this that, point. like, they've, you know, they've spent the last 10 years building a business and that's, you it's know, gone, now that's yeah. gone. And you're like, well, you know, what's the, you know, how many lives is the cost? It's like, you know, there's a, you know, I'm not saying anything people haven't said before, but like, there's a fucking huge, I mean, listen, I've like a fucking went to school for economics for a while. It's like, so a lot of times when they talk about the, the, when they're talking about like, listen to the experts, right? And they go, you know, the people right now, it's big on like, like we should listen to the experts. And you're like, well, these are experts in science, but they're not expert in the decision of like, you know, how to weigh like costs over like aggregate lives, right? So really, if you were to make that argument, like let's listen to the experts, like, and you were to make a graph, one of those, one of those fucking lines on the graph would be your personal preference of like, should we wreck this many people's businesses and cause this much unemployment and this wreck the country and, you know, give your grandkids like $70,000 of debt aggregate each, or should we have this many lives? I mean, that's the, that's the question, right? And yeah, uh, so they, I think we've chosen prefer, lives, we've question, chosen it's lives, a, but it's not, like, but you know what I mean? It's not a scientific question. Life. It's a political it, question. It, it's not, it is, it is very political and it's very complicated. Like it is a, it is a tough yeah. thing. And I think we're hitting like but it's not, it's the not, nerve it's, of it right now. But I think the general political is. consensus has been to prioritize like people's health over economics for the well, time that, being. But the, the truth you know is I mean? they didn't vote. I understand what you're saying, but I guess the argument is, that whether you you think that or don't think that or whatever that wasn't a vote that was just you know that was that wasn't i mean in america especially it's pretty 50 50 right so it's and you know they're kind of saying like oh if you open your business we'll lock you up it's like because you're breaking the law and you're like well it's not a law though they they haven't made that a law and that's not how laws are made so when it's if, it, if it's a democracy and 50 percent of the people think one way and 50 percent people think i think that's the red that's state. Yeah, thing. but well, you the do realize that when, will be you, when you vote in, when when the majority of a population votes in a governor, that governor has executive authority to yeah, and, uh, and look, stay at and home look, orders. they voted in Trump, like like the America in, voted in, in Trump. States of emergency. Trump came out yeah, and said like initially yeah. very early, and like he he gives this he gives this a lot of play, and same with the Bolsonaro yeah. in Brazil, he gives a lot of play to like fuck the scientists, man, they're overblowing it. Let's get out. Let's save yeah. the business. Fox News, they have on people all the time being like, hey, um, don't ruin the economy. Hey, don't worry. You know I'll Drew, die. Like Drew's probably right. I actually agree with what you said there that it's like, you know what? It probably is best that each state deals or each small, you know, the smaller, the better for each area deals with how they want to deal with it. And, and I think this red state opening up thing is going to be the interest is going to be the next step. Be in interesting, all right? It's going to be. Well, yeah, that's we'll a see big, and are. it's a big political gamble on their part, because are, are they doing it? If they're doing it pretty much based off of political calculation, they're not using science to do it because you, you get a lot yes. of epidemiologists saying it's a bad idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So science is pretty one sided on that. And then the red states. But are again, like, though, we're going to open but that's the part where I think I'm like kind of disagreeing with you in the sense that they, I don't think that scientists can tell if it's a bad idea because that's a, that's a not, that's not a science question. That's a political question. Cause if you say that, you know, apples are bad for you wow. or cigarettes are bad for you. And then scientists say, we shouldn't let you sell them to people. That's not a science question, whether we should sell them. It's a science question that they're bad. It's a political question, whether we should sell them. And that's up to the will of the people. So that's kind yeah, of, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, yeah. If, for, so if a state like Tennessee is going to open up again, that they're within their rights. If, if the yeah, governor says yeah. that, and they've, they've been democratically elected and open up again. But if the mm. next two weeks you see a big uptick in people c catching COVID and going to the hospital and your hospital, I guess it depends on what big, what the definition of big is, right? Well, these states are going to, they, well, I'll, I'll say this about Probably them. They believe in something, they believe in something and they're putting it on the see, line. If you had, if you had like an extra 500 <clears throat> people a week going into the hospital with COVID-19. I don't know. Uh, the I don't know what the numbers are, are going to be on. Yeah. I think like, it's got to be bad enough they that said, they got to sure. admit maybe. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, Ryan, I, th I think it's got to be bad enough that they admit it. Like I give it, like there is, it takes guts to do what they're doing. They're basically saying like, fuck the establishment, fuck the scientists. We believe in something. We're using our, it, it is a form of collective action. They're saying we're right. going to open up and we're going to get out there and then we'll find out if they all fucking, if half of them die in two weeks, then we'll know. But the other thing that we should think about, Ryan, is that a lot of the people that even go on Fox News and, and, and promote like, come on, man, don't fucking ruin the economy. All these kids, an old guy like me will die. That old guy is like a senator who owns millions. Like he, owns, he has so much money. Basically, only poor people yeah. are going to die. And you got a bunch of rich fucks at Fox and like these organizations. See, that are I used selling. to think it was like a, a left right issue. I actually was like kind of hard on that. That like, man, this became like a partisan issue quickly. But I th sort of changed my mind on that because it's almost like fucking young liberals 
Mm -hmm. and old conservatives are all kind of on the stay at home <laughs> side like let's keep this closed like it really is like old like boomer conservatives are very like let's stay at home you know yeah yeah and, they're like, spooked. we shouldn't open yeah so it's 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 not as much of a fucking it's you're you know misha is right though it's like kind of fox is one way and cnn is the other way but like at first i was like this is very partisan but then i think i had my mind shifted because it's like most like boom there's a lot of like boom like a steve bannon for example like those kind of boomery conservatives they want people to, they don't want the states to open up they're very like not clamped down on this oh really bannon? Yeah, because, cause, that's responsible cause, you know like because boomer conservatives are very like authoritarian in, like in a lot of ways right so interesting I, but i think yeah, but i think it comes as, down like, to right more of it. like I, I think it was um you know of course when you dig I, I think you have to look at it this way too right? though like there's no you know there's I mean? no way that a governor of any state wants their state to go into an economic depression like that doesn't help you to get yeah. elected especially you know if the I other mean? states are open and running and it's actually working you know yeah they don't yeah. they don't want it like but even even cuomo said he's gonna I'll start opening up parts of upstate new york where there's less incidence of covid19 right like he says i'll open up parts of the state at times when i'm certain that it's going to be safe to do so like i, mean, I don't, they don't i don't want, get the, they don't want this to end because they're having their moment right don't forget no, they don't. you mean the cuomo brothers the cuomo brothers sending each other these yeah, softy yeah. little fucking messages <laughs> they're having their hey, fucking, man. all these governors are having their moment right now <laughs> the cuomo the cuomo drama i got into the i the first one i thought was was actually pretty well done but after that yeah they are fucking corny those guys and they're such well, what did fucks. you think of the people running like to the michigan state house with like weapons to try to get the <laughs> governor to open up the state again, <laughs> again. What was it? this is my right you didn't see like a couple weeks ago in michigan there was a bunch of armed protesters who stormed the state house and like uh, were demanding that the governor reopen and apparently with, sorry. well just apparently in michigan it's legal to enter the state house with a with a weapon you can oh, nice. you can carry a weapon into the state so, house so what was like you're asking for a no, problem called right the uh, yeah. ba with the ba clause <laughs> so, <laughs> so what we learned from this conservative protest is we got to change this law and make sure that that's illegal now wow they really made a difference <laughs> did they do anything yeah. other than that those guys well, the, I mean, you know protesters? what? I, I was saying about this, like, the problem is all these protesters are lame, but, like, there there was a legitimate, like, claim for somewhat of a protest, if you do believe it, where it's like, this is what the problem with, like, a lot of protests now is because you're not really sure what they want. And you're like, even, like, the Women's March, and you're like, so what are you guys protesting for? And they're like, uh, race and gender, and, like, it's, it's just so many things, right? Because at least this, they're like, we wanted to reopen. But then before you knew it, it was, like, tr about Trump. And <laughs> yeah. this, and it was like, that protest got so fucking wishy-washy what they were asking for that it became, like, yeah it's you know, just whatever. lunatics it's just cra it's They're just crazy. someone who wants to carry That's an assault rifle always. into the state house Correct. and be like <laughs> yeah. you're you're like you know affecting my we liberty. just want to open this fucking up and you're like why do you have like a white power symbol on it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the protest got fucking like co-opted by fucking losers so quick but i mean if you're like this is was, this is my this is my quarantine wear what do you mean this, dude, is, this <laughs> literally was like <laughs> If this literally was like small business owners that like got together and protested that they want the right to like open their business, it's like, I'm, it'd still be kind of lame, but it's like, there is a like legitimate claim there at least, you know, but that's not what it was. It was a bunch of like fucking- Here's another guys. thing though. If you're a small business and you open up, like what's to say that there's going to be consumer demand for what you're doing right now, given that everyone's still pretty like shell-shocked and freaked out about yeah. getting yeah. sick. Well, it's you know? kind of like, like George W. Bush like, after the Iraq war. He's like, he's like, what, are they, what do we do? How do we fight back? And he goes- Keep shopping. Get out that there. Was, that was after 9-11. That was, was after 9-11. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, that's a big part of what America, like, that's that's a part of the lifeline of what we do here is, like, we're obsessed. With, so I think that's actually been kind of a good thing. Like, I don't yeah. see it as, like, a bunch of losers are staying home and they're so dumb and they got duped by whatever. There's a bunch of those people, too. But I think a lot of people are like, oh, uh, I guess I don't. Yeah, I didn't say that, I mean, just to clarify. It's more that I said it was, like, it's interesting how quick people are willing to change their entire identity. Yeah. It, it was, it, yeah, I did call them losers, but my point was. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, just, I, I, just because I have a problem doesn't mean I'm. <laughs> They're gonna get the Allison Roman treatment for. Uh, in, I've been wearing this people. cowboy hat since before this COVID shit. Okay, I want everyone to. I like the hat, dude. Just. <laughs> I'm but, on the cowboy hat. But, but I think I think a lot of people are just like, oh, I guess I don't need to do a bunch of shit too. You know what I mean? Like there is people, there are people that are like, hey, you didn't need to do half the shit you're doing. It was just damaging. Just saying, some people are having like a positive effect on their life. 
Some people well, are a lot of, I think a big problem though that it's showing is like a lot of companies weren't prepared to deal with something like this. Like a lot of big companies weren't prepared yeah. to deal with something like this because Why they don't keep be, cash on hand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, well, it's just kind of like they've been doing things for a while now that kind of made themselves over leveraged and unprepared to like deal with. I don't know, dude. Let's say you ran a fucking bar in Toronto. Would you keep like six months cash on? That's hand? not a like, big company though. I'm talking about like an airline. Well, then even dude. more is the airline going to keep just like $10 trillion in reserve? like that's crazy but they've been doing a whole bunch of stock buybacks and like you oh, know would, yeah, paying people uh, if, out. if your point is the airlines running with the shady i'm agreeing with yeah you. My, my my thing isn't like in yeah, terms of say yeah, like a small business like a bar or like a, a barber shop or something like that like i don't expect you to have a lot of money on hand and i i get, I get it but i'm more <laughs> saying like there's a lot of big companies like where you're gonna see like big reverberations like that uh, oil sands, oil that sands. They still what it makes, but just you, you know, you're a smart dude. Like just from a basic standpoint, you would know that like to have seven months liquid assets on on file on on just sitting there. Sure, at all, sure. Like, Fair enough. Of, and businesses are less, built, and if you just loan it when you need it, like they can all take yeah. loans right now if they need it to. It's like that'd just be crazy to have that much cash. Yeah, they can all take loans though. They can all take loans. I mean, look at like Shake Shack. Shake Shack got like a twelve million dollar loan from the yeah. government, yeah, and they, they gave they it do. back because they were like, we had six hundred million in sales last year. Like we're good. We don't need the money. Like smaller businesses need it more than we do. But it depends though. That's because maybe Shake Shack didn't expand the same way that other places do. Like everyone, every business is structured yeah. different. Yeah, really. Every, you no, know, I agree. Businesses every are built to expand. Different. Every, every businesses, businesses are built to expand different. and be over leveraged at all times. Like they're built to be like that. And, but I do think that Drew, what you're saying is like, like you look at a company like, like you look at an industry like oil sands in Canada. This whole thing is showing us that maybe they weren't really that profitable. That's the more ultimate. Like they I, haven't I'm been not profitable about, for a while, but that's just because where the price of oil was at. But. <clears throat> but more it, to it, the point it's just not even like it's it's like lose it's a losing investment at this point now for them to, now keep, it's, to keep producing in, in alberta yeah like like at this point we're talking about just like the airlines we're talking about like if every time something goes wrong you got to go and get a loan from yeah. the government now you're sucking on the titties or know? it's the other way around that like you know it's you know how they always say that you know you create this welfare state it's like you've just done that with the airlines you know they're like corporations are the he, biggest Drew's like oh they should have extra cash on bar they're like well why the government's just gonna <laughs> fucking give it to us like yeah for, yeah for <laughs> that's the real welfare queens is these ceos they are the they're welfare just, queens they're just living <laughs> up the government like we're bla dude in america like they call welfare queens like a single mom it's like hey she's raising a kid man chill these yeah, fucking yeah. ceos are like i need another 12 billion dollars yeah hey, but they it. keep getting it so these <laughs> yeah. airline bail of course they do nuts dude well, what's what's so crazy is did you see Trump saying so happy to see that uh, we're getting the country back open, and then in the tweet he has a uh, Trump golf course in California. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, it's like these rich bucks are like keep the businesses open. Yeah. What are we? But what are we losers? Ah, sitting at home, get out there, guys! Like that's there is there is yeah. always that marching. I mean that. I guess that's the like that. I think it's like that's one of the narratives that like. Sometimes I'm like, I guess, but the truth is rich people are going to be fine. I know that they wanted their businesses back, but like, if you have tons of money, you're actually going to be fine. Like, dude, I'm fine right now. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? Like, oh no, but Ryan, it's like you were saying before, they're, they're no, over not going to be fine is someone who like, you know, had a bar that was kind of working on a, a month. And so it's yeah. like, I, I think the narrative it's, it's for sure like, i but think there, there like needs to be contingency that, plans for like, those for the small businesses like the, and they're saying that the the rollout that they had was ineffective it but wasn't guess, enough yeah. money and it didn't go far enough and the big money is going to bigger corporate bigger like welfare because if you look at like what they're borrow, doing yeah. if you look at what they're doing in like the uk uh if you keep your employees on payroll the government will pony up 80% and then yeah. you cover the, like That's the correct. following yeah. 20 and you don't even have to give them what they were making. You just have to give them something. So that yeah, yeah. keeps you afloat during the time. The state isn't doing that. And and what they've done so far has just been like a piss poor response. So it's not, well, that's, and that's kind of what I'm it's saying. It's not saving but... anybody. It's either, you know, it's do one of the two, like either let them run their business or, open or it up. To, you know, or, you know, let's come up with a plan that like works for everyone, but it's the in between that's 
causing people to protest. And I think well, that's, that's the hypocrisy like, on like, the right. This though, guy's for so them. mad. You're like, well, you shut down his barber shop and you refuse to give him any money, and it's like he can't feed his family. I don't know, that does exist, and I feel bad. Yeah, for that that is true. Yeah, a lot 100%, of hundred percent. But for but for the Republicans to kind of play it both ways, I mean, which they're great at. Everyone's it's, playing it. They love ways, doing that. Yeah. yeah, but to be like, we need to reopen all this stuff, and then say, okay, we'll give people like a loan, then so they we don't have to reopen and we can be safe. And they go, yeah. no, 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 we're not going to give small businesses a loan. It's also and it's, and it's also like I thought you're all about the small business what happened to the republican who was like you know fiscal responsibility and helping the business and like uh entrepreneurship and all that mm -hmm. where's that gone dude you see 120 diner closed down like that's just, just sad know. you know what i mean yeah it's sad, that's so sad. yeah well two well, months before with, yeah. two months before uh what's it called closed down on uh, clinton's closed down like two months before COVID. really so sometimes you know unrelated sometimes <laughs> businesses just don't work out they just no. don't work out dude my buddy no no no. my my buddy called me the other day and he's like he's like he got, he got like you know got let go you what know COVID, whatever and then i find out no no he was let go before covid he's just you see, he just jumps on covid it's like oh here's the here's the spot to get out but uh, <laughs> they caught him stealing where did he work <laughs> no it was like a sales company so That's even good. more i'm like how could you get fired from sales idiot it's paid it's commission this guy fired, <laughs> like like but he got fired but but then he it also revealed after it was too much before. i used to work at a restaurant and this dishwasher got uh fired for stealing pecan pies <laughs> which i thought was hilarious <laughs> they always noticed when he was working <laughs> they, like they'd always notice when he was working that some pecan pies would go missing and then one day yeah. as he was leaving they grabbed his backpack and he had like three full pies i love that <laughs> i bag. love that whenever someone thinks there's like a deep space <laughs> conspiracy going on it's like some guys like no i just eat i like pecan pies man i just eat them you know <laughs> <laughs> like there's that? just people are just so dumb that no we could never pull off like a crazy conspiracy it's like yeah that's it's what, a, what are you saying, that's Ryan? A, I'm a little bit of that opinion that like most conspiracies that I'm kind of like, I'm like, I don't know. That seems a little elaborate for these retards to pull off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, what, but what were you, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, I was going to say, you see, you hey guys see the Obamagate thing, which speaking of conspiracies, but which one that, is that Obamagate? Well, I'll tell you, but before that, the like, the most thing that I think has been crazy that's been going on is like, which is here way more than Canada is like, they basically, people can't work and all that stuff. And then they aren't giving them their unemployment. So there's like legitimately people that were like paycheck wow. to paycheck. And now it's two months in, they just haven't paid their landlord. They like yeah. don't have money. You know, they've, some of them as friends, like I, I have some people that I like, you know, gave some cash to and stuff. Cause I'm like, whatever, oh like older than them or whatever. You know what I you're, mean? Like, you're a pillar in the community, right? You're like, uh, you're on top of your shit. A lot of people don't know how to manage their finances. I was telling these guys before, yeah, man. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm just in a, like a better position than I was like when I was younger or whatever. So I tried to like help people where I can or whatever, but yeah. The like, you know, you're like, what Ryan Long mission? Just fuck, dude. <laughs> so well, no, for sure. I mean, Canada's had a pretty good response to it. You know, I know there's some comedians pretty Toronto, generous like the yeah, for sure. who, who like to go on Instagram and yell out the window that we're being uh, lied to by a prime minister. But he's, <laughs> uh, he's done. He's, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Look, two thousand dollars a month. Two thousand dollars a month has been helping out. You know, it's no, been no, helping out. I thought the Serb was was pretty reasonable, but I think it's just some other stuff he's done. Like, and you know what, the Serb has its problems too. I mean, there's no perfect answer, but I think that. The, What's your the, issue with the Serb? Well, I mean, most I know, like personally, I know a lot of people with companies that they're trying to get their employees back and they don't want to come back because they have four months of free. <laughs> right. free. You got to pay your employees better than you got to you gotta make real people. I'm not talking Ryan's about on that. business. Ryan's on team business on that. He's like, well, fucking government. Dude, I can't. They, I can't get back owns a company that like this is happening to. It's like, yeah, you know, this is like, yeah, I, this is like, like hypothetical. I know like five yeah, people that they're like, you know, we want to start up our business, but we can't get employees because they're like two thousand a month. <laughs> Well, because you know, so it, I mean, terrible. whatever. There's, there should be like, I, if anything, it should kind of work the way that the social, the universal UBI was proposed, where maybe they get a, a if they go back to work, they get a thousand still. I don't, whatever it is, but it's like it's really yeah. structured right now more than ever. It's like when job loss is at its all time low. It's like you don't need extra stuff that's gonna like incentivize people to not work when they can. So I think there's just there is um, some like issues with it, and then. He was, he made some, he just, there was some weird parts of it, right? But um, in general, I think the efficiency of the $2,000 a month was like really good. Yeah, because it just quick. drops three days later. Direct deposit. Yeah. And also, and also I thought the one thing I, I, I do agree with a lot is instead of you kind of doing all the forms and, and then figuring out, basically they're, 
call, they'll give it to you. And then during tax season, if you didn't deserve it, you give it back and pay them. Like they'll kind of figure it out yeah. after, as opposed to like do the bureaucracy before people have their money, which is causing more civil unrest and all that sort of stuff. For sure. Yeah. For sure. They got it quick, man. I can't believe it was direct deposited. I thought CBC yeah. was going to be like that too. They just, CBC just put out a grant thing, but uh, no, I got an email today saying, sorry, no, we're not going to make it. One of, one of the shows, but I put in like four of them. Very efficient, Wait. Ryan, though. It was like one oh, website. You got on an C- email? I got, an, I got an email about, about, some, about another this. one. I got, I got not e- about ours. It's not about the I got podcast. An email about the unscripted, and and this is again, no, not about the podcast, because Ryan, we we, I'm sure you were on top. You probably applied for these two, but no, I'm done with. I'm like you're I'm done with Canada. Eh? No, I mean I don't. Know. <laughs> the organization. <laughs> yeah. You cut up your passport as soon as you landed in New York. <laughs> I mean, you have direct ties there. Like you could probably just call someone and be like, "Hey, should I apply for this? like probably?" But I remember, I remember, uh, I, I I remember just thinking it was very efficient. But then they just got too many applications. So yeah. They, so they, even as I'm doing, I'm like, this is a little too. But, but they, they had too many. But they had enough time to respond to you directly and say no. <laughs> no, no, they didn't. They didn't even have my name in it. It was an autoresponder. Like I'm, uh, I'm in a group of one thousand. That's like this one idea we're saying no to, but the other ideas might be considered. I don't know. I got. Don't you. ask. <laughs> they were like, don't even ask. But I feel like, dude, that'd be cool if you got that. Yeah. This is this is what happens even when I'm watching Bombshell and the other the other Roger Ailes thing. Jesus Christ, this hot girl! No, 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 and this is the thing, Drew. It's very important for the culture. As a as a brown guy too, I'm seeing these girls, and you're like tempted to go right wing. And I just want to send these CBC fucks an email, being like, "Hey, maybe I'll go to Rebel, you fucks. I'm already. I'm gonna go to Rebel Media, you piece of shit. Give me the fucking money." <laughs> There's two more chances. I want money on the pie. Give me something. Yeah. I'll go Rebel Media. Because I feel like they'll say, Tata, I mean, you should have a great time <laughs> with uh, Ezra Levant in Alberta. G- good luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, but, dude, that's what's, so, um, that's what's so interesting about that the movie and the TV series is, like, you're seeing these <laughs> – it's it's like the big bombshell shocker is that the guy who owns Fox News was was, like – what did you think, man? I mean, even as a brown guy, I'm like, I could be in at Fox News in six months. It'll take us five years to get in at CBC. Still, just because there's, you know, there's yeah, no people. Yeah. It could be like uh, Nimesh D'Souza. Dinesh D'Souza. Dinesh D'Souza, yeah. <laughs> Dinesh D'Souza. You can go to the top. They love a brown guy talking shit about other brown people, you know, or like a girl. Yeah, like that's kind of. Yeah. I don't know. Like the, well, yeah, they're, 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 there's a big market for like the black fucking Trump, the black mega guys. And well, dude, who are those hot, two ladies? Hot, those two girls. like uh, ladies hot, who are hot, hot, blonde That market's girls. fairly exaggerated, though. R- Roger Ailes is like show yeah, the a lot of competition. Go, Go on, the legs, we get ratings. Yeah. There's yeah. probably like ten thousand, ten trillion fucking mega hot blonde mega chicks with like fourteen followers. You know, you only know about the huge ones. Well, I mean, now well, they're big and like the market's oversaturated, maybe. I mean, Ryan, what do you think is the future of stand-up after COVID? Where do you oh, see that so, headed? This is such a bummer, but um, I think uh, it's going to take about a year to come back. It'll come back, but it's yeah. going to be, you know, all the clubs will take a while to come back. Like, and all the city centers are in, like, liberal places, so they'll take extra long. So, like, to me, fucking New York probably, I don't know, like, hopefully fucking by September. Who knows, dude? But yeah. that's why I said I might go to Houston or whatever. But this whole thing fucking sucks. Dude, we can't legally get on a plane probably until next year. That's it. There's no – you can't – even Doug Ford said if Americans come to the border, yeah. fuck off. Doug dude, Ford they have like – goof. They have – but Doug they Ford. have uh, – th- th- that's, not, that's not up to him. That's a federal policy. Yeah, but he's, he's just – Sorry, yeah, I know he did say that, though, stoking the fucking dumbass. It's like posturing. That's what I mean. He's yeah. like boomer conservative. That's like he's like, yeah. you know, the exact, he, that's the opinion I'm just sort of talking about. But that, I, wa- I was going to come back to Canada for a week, and then there's like a mandatory quarantine where I'd have to go sit in my place for like two weeks. So I'm like, he, that's. I only wanted to come back for like a week and like hang out with some people and do shit. But then. <laughs> <laughs> Not That'd be hilarious. You get here like, hey, you want to hang out, man? No, I'm, I'm quarantined. Dude, oh, no, you're I'm you. I'm <laughs> None of my close friends give a shit. Dude, Danny's in fucking Miami like having pool parties and shit. Is he still there? We spoke <laughs> to him a couple weeks ago. He's yeah, still yeah, down he's there. Still hey? there. <laughs> Ryan just got someone pregnant in Canada. He's like, baby, baby, the government. The government. Dude, <laughs> loom with a chick. <laughs> You were supposed to go to Tulum? No, I was looking at it, yeah. Oh, really? Can you get a flight to Tulum out of New York? I could not, but you're used to that. (laughs) Not allowed. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've had some offers like that are like, if you can get here, I'll fuck you. But it's not possible. How? No. So I'm going to probably go to Houston and then I'm, I want to come back to Toronto for a bit. But I want to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be like a uh, open chaser, you know, like I'll do out of the like re grand reopening of every fucking city and just like rock out. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what, if, what if you become a super spreader through your comedy? I, I mean, I, I, in my opinion, I, that's the other thing that I mean. Dude, I he has a six foot mic. Have respect, Drew. He has a six foot mic. He's going to go there. And, and I think it's a great show, too, Ryan. Like, you're going to go. It's like, he's yeah. traveling. He's it's travel. Yeah. In my opinion, I mean, uh, th listen, I, this is, uh, you know, whatever contested, but I'm, it just doesn't make sense to me from like a logical standpoint. It's not political or anything. Like, if it spreads the way that it spreads, you know, I know so many people that have like had a flu in the last two months. It just, it like, they said even in like certain populations, it was like 50 to 60 people, percent of people probably had it or like was, you know, had it and mm. had the antibodies. Like to me, I bet you fucking it's even higher in New York. Like this idea of like, we're all standing, I bet you we've all fucking had it. Like, or at least pretty close to that. We are on top of each other. It's, you know, if you rode the subway, yeah. You had it, you know. So I don't know. I, that's also, I, that's if I you're ordering takeout every day, you got it. What's this fucking takeout guys coming? Yeah, <laughs> like, dude. it does get silly. Like where they're making us wait in lines at the at the Walmart. I'm like, you all fucking have it. Get out of here. They're and wiping. Yeah, it's like. It's, I mean, if you look at like people that are essential workers that are at Trader Joe's, like begging stuff all day, like they don't really have it at a higher rate. Like, I don't know. I'm just not fucking seeing it. Per this is from anecdotal. So, you well, know, people have gotten it. Definitely. Us, people who work at Trader they put Joe's. The shields yeah, but they get it. Like, it. I'm, I have friends that have gotten it and they got it yeah. and they were flu for four days and now they're better. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, I guess if they live mm -hmm. with their parents, it's bad, but it's like, yeah, don't work at Trader Joe's if you're living with a, your fucking old person. It, it depends who, it depends like uh, who, who you are kind of. Like it's, it's yeah. like, it's, it's always so personalized with any disease, but this specifically because- Dude, I've, no had like, to I've had to yell yeah, at- whatever, I'm not next I've had to yell at old sure. immigrants and be like, hey, idiots, you'll fucking die. I don't give a shit. Yeah, go inside. You'll fucking die. Stay in your house. Yeah. My body was saying, he goes, I, my grandmother would rather die than know that her son was a pussy and stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> dude my mom said basically that to me yeah my mom basically when she, it. when she came back from india we're telling her like you can't leave whatever i blocked her car in the driveway she's like yeah. if you were a fucking real man you'd go out and say fuck this shit dude at the beginning of it yeah my mom's the like complete hypocrite like she's she's the opposite like she'll post like fucking pr trump stuff one day and then she'll post like anyone who supports trump's an idiot like the next day not like not even realizing that they're like political you know hey, what I mean? moms dude moms on Facebook. People, she goes oh i'll share that i'll share that she's <laughs> dude through hindu through hinduism my mom's to supposing all she's kinds of give a cosign yeah she's just doing all this stuff but she she literally posts like if you need to stay home you're saving lives and the next day i saw her at like a barbecue with her friends and I'm like, <laughs> Like what are you like you can't make up your mind here? They're like we're social yeah. distancing. Like, like it was Easter. It was Easter. <laughs> I got dude, I would literally... Ryan, don't tell anyone. You saw my Facebook post. She's like getting yeah. mad. <laughs> I heard that people here were having like Brooklyn raves, like they were doing like underground fucking raves and shit. Wow. I don't know dude. enough people here. That's the problem. Like if I was in Toronto, like I could, you know, get a crew together and go to a cottage or some shit. But if I'm like in New York, I don't really know people like that. So it's like I'm just, you know, mm. whatever. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know like a bunch of people that I that I'm the leader of, you know. But I mean, here yeah. for five years. I won't even here for five months before this happened. Yeah, I know it's, such, it's a bummer. <laughs> and you were yeah. killing it too, man. You were on the come up over there. I wasn't I a good time. Of... Yeah, it wasn't a good time for this to happen. Like if I had another no. six months, even that would've been nice. But that's why I say, anytime you make a move, go to a psychic first. You know, you got to go to a psychic, see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and you pissed off the crystal healers, didn't you? You pissed yeah. off the crystal healers. I, I I pissed them off too. I had to go make amends with them. They had to be like, listen, <laughs> yeah, align it up, motherfucker. Don't talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you, dude, I know. It's it, it, it does. I'm sure there's ever like a lot of people that feel, but like. It almost feels personal, you know. <laughs> you moved, <laughs> you moved to another fucking country to do stand up, and they shut down stand up comedy, shut down New York. <laughs> the goddamn lefties! I thought I left the lefties in Canada. They're fucking here too. They get me everywhere. <laughs> they got you on the run, Ryan. But you do this red state thing is fucking hilarious, man. That's such that a good me, part of that, me. Fucking chase, being a, a, a like open chaser. <laughs> The open chaser, the name is so good too. COVID, open chaser, like you're hunting COVID down. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, <laughs> I'll, just, 
I'm hunting freedom, but I'm just hunting pool parties and stuff. What if you get to Houston and all they have is mics? What if it's like truly like open chaser, like you're an open mic chaser? Like it's uh, only. I'm not, yeah, I know. <laughs> There's that no is. shows. <laughs> to be honest, I'm going to, for at least for a month or so, like I'm going to be less chasing like comedy unless I can get like a confirmation from a club owner that he'd like love. Like there's a few club owners that have like reached out to me in the last five months that have heard me on yeah. this and that. And I'm, I'm, if they would be like showcase style, they'd be like, listen, I'll give you two spots a night. And if, if I right. can make that a deal with them somehow, I'd be like, all right, I'll come move there and rent Sick. my place here. But other than that, I'm more like, I, I think if anything, I'm going to like take the month off and like be a party guy. Be yeah. like, you know, go party in Houston for fucking two weeks and like, you know, just do that. Like take, take this as like, when's there going to be another time in my life that I'm going to fucking go chill for like months and not do stand up every night. And why not the Instagram, dude? The Instagram videos are fucking hilarious. You can do that while you're partying. Yeah, yeah, have you been? Have you seen a lot Maybe. of traction off of your COVID uh, Instagram videos? Dude, they're doing or, great. Like, is Instagram doing even better now since quarantine? I'm. Just, I've been just slowly growing on everything. Yeah, you know, since yeah. I moved here. No, no, right, right, Ryan, growing, you have been on the come up, dude. It, 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 this is some fucking attack on you, goddammit. They fucking <laughs> they attack on all. Of I them. heard. Po- I heard people on podcasts, man. Even on Race Wars, they mentioned you a couple of times. People were mentioning like oh, yeah, Ryan man. Long. He fucking works harder than everyone. People say this about you. In oh, New really? York. Fucking New York, man! Fuck it's it. a s- yeah. I did. Have, I did have like a pretty like uh, aggressive entrance, if that makes sense. Yeah, of course yeah, you do, man. I, you bring the heat, man, dude. Like like a like Athena with the sword through Zeus's skull. That's how you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. If I, yeah, I don't know how it works now. It's like because <laughs> there was all the clubs that like ju- I just started like kind of working everywhere, and I'm like, does this go back to kind of how before I moved here, or <laughs> am I like <laughs> when this all ends? You know what I mean? <laughs> Knows, it is like you left Canada be like fuck this shit and then every, the whole world's gonna become but- I'll tell you what, if, if the corner comedy club opens back up and Toronto kind of opens back up before New York I'll straight up move the fuck home like immediately which I'd be fine with that'd be fun yeah that'd be fun uh, Joe Tachito if you're listening Joe Tachito <laughs> Dude, I don't know what he's doing like I, don't I, know what I haven't talked do. to him I don't want to ask him because I kind of almost like you know, I pro- I assume it's probably not great. So I don't yeah. want to be like, hey, man, how's it going? And he'll be like, yeah, not good, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I just, I'm just, yeah, so I haven't, there's a few people like that that I haven't really reached out to to just be like, hey, dude, like, you fucked or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. At this He's point, rude. like, ba- like establishments are fucked. Like, establishments are, are having a real hard time. And uh, yeah. Even asking them could be like, hey, can but it's you true, fuck it's not off? the big one. Dude, stock market's been booming. I've been fucking day trading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. they rebounded, hey? Rebounded. Amazon fucking, like, all the, whole, all the big tech stocks are at, like, all-time highs. All-time it's high, dude. Close. Walmart's going to kill it. Yeah. The grocery stores are killing it. There's yeah. no sign of any shortage of anything from the grocery store. End. No. The grocery stores are just raking in money. Yeah. Nobody's I going to eat a, in I the restaurant. I did do, do okay on that, that I kind of, like, made back some of the money that I'm fucking bleeding right now. But Yeah, very smart, man. You're always on top of your investments. <laughs> I remember that. I remember what very few yeah. comics are, man. Ryan, you're maybe one of the only ones that can back up this talk with real work ethic with real knowledge about stocks a lot of these a lot of people that say this stuff they don't have that you know you have it and so you can come up i do find that there's other you know like but you 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 know what to do well, you you know those guys that you're like oh i want to be like start doing podcasts and before you know it you have a cool backdrop you got the lights you got the you know you just do it <laughs> properly like a lot of people you know they just kind of never really ever do anything for real like if you're they never actually decide to get good at something yeah yeah and even even like something like writing a script like even when i did torontopia which um, incredible work dude the amount of work that you did alone you wrote produced edited after you applied for the funding you got you did it all your damn self and it's fucking tight it's maybe the best work they've done i it takes people like it takes 50 crew like 50 people in a crew to do what you were pulling off with that show man you did you worked so hard on it. it was great yeah thanks sometimes yeah sometimes it's like well you know there's better than ever it's like sometimes you're actually like tighter with a small crew right and it's it's almost like if i was doing yeah. way more episodes mm-hmm. i would have to expand it but it was like that was probably around the max that i could handle personally but i have these people all a lot of the time like even when i'm putting out so much stuff right now and people be like well why don't you like hire an editor especially it's like you know there's certain things i can do that for but it's like for the videos i'm doing it's like the reason they're good is because i'm a good editor yes like, so many people it's like that's the whole fucking thing you know yes. like, you're like that. so it's kind of funny when you're like 
Well, yeah, I'd have to hire someone that's as good as me, and that would be expensive. <laughs> no, it's not. You can't buy your problems away, man. I no, remember you the can't. Fir- not these problems, anyway. No, the yeah. best advice you ever gave me, Ryan, man, when we when I first first started, I was like, oh, I was like still coming from the acting world more, and I was like, yeah. oh, I'm looking for an editor, and you're just like, are you stupid? <laughs> Edit it. <laughs> fucking you download the to. program. You have to. And yeah. I tell every comic that too. It's like if you don't know how to fucking edit, what good yeah. are you? Or at least till you fucking highly systemized it, then you can be like, okay, do this. You know, if it yeah. if, if it starts to get to the point where it does start to feel like you know they can anyone can do it. That's the only time you deserve to pay money for something is when you're maxed out. It's kind of like when you watch even yeah. like Dragons Den. You're like, dude, the the business advice from Kevin O'Leary. I know he's a, everyone hates him, but I love his business advice. Is always like it's always like pretty rational and very like. So what the fuck are you doing? You just want right. free money for something like what? And, and I love his, I love his slogan. It's always like, it's always like you're being greedy and pigs get slaughtered or something like, yeah. like he always has like those good slogans, but it, it is, you get an education about business where it's like, you don't get to hire people until you're fucking on top of your shit and you need it. That's it. Yeah. And if you hire people to the system when it's growing, it's like, it'll stop growing because it's like, you're the fucking thing and you're like tweaking and you're, you know, <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. I hired a guy to like cut up some videos and make clips and stuff like that. And it's been going okay, but it's even still, it's like the TikTok clips and stuff from my podcast. It's like, they don't do as good as the ones I do because it's like, he just doesn't have like the rhythm the same way. It's like just these little right. tiny things that can't be completely taught. Like, you know, you know, that that's part. the art. That's the uh, art. But, yeah. It's yeah. And you're like, and why would he have the same? Like I've been doing this for 20 years, you know, why would he have that? Yeah. Why would he have that? You're, you're basically, um <clears throat> you have to teach him you know and 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 a lot of times with with stuff like that what you end up learning is like oh i should i'm i'm not i i'm paying to teach someone something a little bit you almost need a guy that's really great like andrew schultz is good at this he has he has like a guy that's you know really part of his team and he probably pays him like a salary or whatever it is but he also you know puts him in lots of videos brings him on tour so it's like he's getting like kind of a 360 like benefit package from being this like full-time cinematographer yep. that works for him. So, you know, he gets to Leah. Yeah. They all have like a guy. Yeah. Tim Dillon too. They, they Dillon basically are brainwashing too. a younger comic to be like, this yeah. is what the fuck I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're, yeah. <laughs> and they're it good. Is good. It's a, it's a, it's a good, like, it is a good opportunity for them, especially if they get to be the opener on tour. And like, so it is actually, that's a way to get someone that's talented to do this for you know three years or whatever till they you know yeah the- yeah and uh, i love i love tim dylan uh his show's so tight and uh he was yeah, he's saying ma- he's making good stuff he's just he's a funny dude so funny dude and he's he is playing both sides <laughs> like not i don't want to say play both sides but like one you of know the what i would describe you as amish Tell which me. i don't know if you to see yourself as this but you and like sam Feldman and all like guys like that that people started saying the dirtbag left i was kind of yeah. like isn't that good? It, uh, Drew's already of, called me that. Amish, Amish likes yeah. to self-identify like as dirtbag left. Dirtbag like left is cool, man. It's like, it kind of allows you to sort of make fun of some of that shit, but like retain your identity. To me, dirtbag left like describes a lot of these people that were like alt-right, it's like, or whatever. It's like, they got forced to say they're that. It's like, really, if the dirtbag left phrase was around lo- before, I feel like they would have been like, no, 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 I'm dirtbag left. It was just, there wasn't like a dirtbag left option. Like, three years <clears> you think, ago. You think Gavin so. McGinnis would have taken a dirtbag left uh, hey. route if he could have, if it was available to him? No, 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 but I'll tell you this, when I did, I was going to mention, I was going to mention when I did Gavin McGinnis' show. Hometown has, for sure. Um, yeah, when Gavin would have said, I think he would have, yeah. Yeah, he would have. And, and like, when I did his show, people were like, there is that weird, like, what are you, a dirtbag? What'd you do his yeah. show? And it's like, hey, idiots, he has- I'm on the left. You're not, he's like, I'm not puritanical. <laughs> like, he's a left-wing guy, but he's not, like, puritanical when it comes to fucking culture and, you know, whatever else. Well, Gavin McGinnis? <clears throat> well, Ali- no, Amish. Ali, Ali Amish, told me- oh, yeah. well, So, so I, told, I told Ali- <laughs> Ali <laughs> care if he fucking, yeah. you know. <clears throat> and hopefully he doesn't care of mind me saying that, repeating this, but I remember I told Ali, like, I'm going to New York. Uh, Gavin is like- because we mentioned this before, conservatives love to get a brown guy on. And I was like, yeah. I was like, Gavin wants to do a show. And Ali's like, you got to do it. He's like, you got it. That's your job, baby. Go fucking talk to him. Yeah. Get experience on a podcast, getting yelled at. Well, Are, yeah, this is getting your this points is the whole thing. Like, I feel like a lot of people are kind of averse to having a conversation yeah. that's going to even like stir the pot remotely anymore. And like, like, that's ridiculous. Uh, and that that's was ridiculous. the whole thing. 
But Allison Roman thinks to me, what bothered me is not what she said. It's the fact that she couldn't back it up at the end of the day because she's like, if you have those kinds of conversations, if you kind of like disagree with a certain practice she didn't say like i i think you know being asian is a, a cheap way to make it in the yep. wellness business like she didn't say that she just said yeah. like the way you guys are running it <laughs> is a little bit of like same with alfranken to how i would and then she does not the same with alfranken same not, as alfranken everyone is exactly the same <laughs> not, not i don't know why slightly. you're pretending like it's not not it's even basically slightly. everyone not even slightly. everyone went against him no no it's the same thing but for women are you retarded it's basically like nobody could fucking <laughs> grow a pair and say hey uh this girl's an idiot and she's talking shit a bunch of conservatives got together and are just taking down a great guy because they're fucking with us they couldn't do that because they're soft and they're pussies, and they can't have the real conversation. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I mean, yeah. that's basically what happened. They fucking bullied everyone into shutting the fuck up. And if you don't get bullied, you're dirtbag left. So I'll be fucking dirtbag. I'm gonna fuck, dude. Dude, you're yeah. It's like you're just all right. Like, bravo, <laughs> bravo. You've won me over, actually. Did, did no, you it, get it, Drew? Did you got? You got it. Thanks. Thank I you, like dude. dirtbag left, dude. It's you've a won, I love you've it. won me over. You've won me over with that explanation because it is. I mean, the Al Franken thing was during a very specific point in time, though, where it was like super tense and heightened, and yes, everyone would try to like take you out. Like there I, was, there was no discussion. It was one way or the other. I was kind of arguing with some because I was getting like, you know, some. I've had some people on my podcast recently that you know people were like, you know, that person's this and that or whatever, and I was like, dude, Howard Stern used to have the head of the KKK on his fucking show. <laughs> that wasn't that long ago, and. You know, and you might like argue it was fucking racist or whatever, and people shouldn't do that. It was a different time, but it's like, I don't know, is it like he didn't have him on because like this guy is so great, he had him on like make fun of him and whatever. It's like, yeah, I think know, that's so a better way to look at it. You can't have someone on that you disagree with, and if you do have them on, you got to be like, yeah, you can't bring someone on and like let them say their thing. I don't know, whatever. That's how you think, fine, but you can understand why I think a lot of people are starting to like switch off that opinion and be like. No, fuck you. Like, dude, they yeah. used to have se- a lot of interviewers would interview like serial killers and shit. And they don't say, they don't like the whole time. It's not saying like, do you, you, you should be ashamed of what you do. They're like, they let them tell their side of the story. And they're like, yeah. let's see what this person has to say, even though yeah. they fucking murdered their family. Like, it's not, you, you don't, like, that's not a really good interviewing tactic is to like attack them in the first yeah. like, that's just not yeah. how you run a fucking thing, right? And I think we've learned well, that with Trump like, too, because like that's how Trump, I think, won a lot of in a lot of ways. Because all these lefties are like, "Don't even look at him. How could you even talk to him?" And it's like, he's fucking winning. Right. Are you stupid? He's gonna yeah, win yeah. every level of this. Yeah. Oh, don't even. T- I'm not even taking him seriously right yeah. until he fucking won. And then, what did you think was gonna happen? And now he's gonna win again because <laughs> Biden. Are you fucking kidding me? I know. <laughs> Listen, it'd be it'd be a miracle if they can swap him for someone else, but I I mean I don't see it happening. Yeah, Landing back from the dead, Franken baby, <laughs> Franken twenty twenty. Yeah, now there's no way. It's like such late. a long shot. I mean, I'll give you a thousand dollars if Al Franken gets picked as the Democratic nominee. There's, there's no, no way, but I'll. Trump's gonna sweep the floor with Joe he's Biden. Gonna, though. He's gonna sweep the floor with Biden. Well, if you don't know the Obamagate thing, it was the number one trending thing on Twitter the last two days, and basically, there's this big like Watergate scandal where fucking Obama like wiretap trump and all this stuff so it's a pretty big like it was oh, i didn't hear about that yeah it was just today and yesterday but if you go on tw- like if you go on twitter i was seeing it everywhere and then you know that guy tim pool yeah. i just i just yeah, yeah. i feel like he's sort of a, a fairly like uh kind of an objective like just at least if you don't know what's happening you're like what's going on with this he like kind of says the the facts a little bit more than other places so anyways i was watching his thing on it and then uh and like whatever explaining what it was i still kind of confused and to be honest halfway through i was like boring yeah it was, yeah. A, it was a lot of like a lot of <clears throat> complicated things but it's a big uh a big thing theory right now where apparently obama got like there's proof that he wiretapped trump in the white house when he was still the president wow. and all this stuff I thought what you were going to mention is Obama because what I've been I, I just saw a thing on the Hill, which is like the Hill is a little bit anti-establishment left people, left wing, left wing, like newscasters okay. on the Internet. But they were dissing Obama for like, oh, this is his like he won't come out and support um, Biden. But he basically yeah. did a support of Biden on a radio show type of thing, like on, on a, like a, a leaked audio came out where he's like, well, you don't want Trump to win again. So I guess we got to like, <laughs> it was basically yeah. like a, like a, like a, like a, you don't want Trump to win Biden you endorsement. You can't support him, right? Eh? He's so dumb, dude. Biden's that was kind of like a, an idiot. Uh, there was a lot of people that their like endorsements or lack of endorsements seemed like it should have been a kill shot when just fucking like when Elizabeth Warren didn't uh, do Bernie, like didn't endorse Bernie. How was it not like, 
you're the you're the reason we're not gonna have a progressive candidate like because you refused to support me you like stole my followers wouldn't drop out like until it was way too late even when no one liked you like i don't know he just uh, whatever back to that again but there was a few people and then like when tulsi fucking gabbard and like or whatever endorsed biden is like so wild (laughs) as the fucking no war person and then she endorsed biden and it's like a lot of people it's like they really show their true colors after they're out of the race you know I mean, the thing is, you can't you you can't be a Puritan in politics. Like, it's especially a strong if machine. you are in in it, like you you're gonna compromise yourself yeah. at some point or another because you're you're operating in a coalition. You're not operating with just your pure ideology all the time. Like, but I mean, even like, Bernie, the reason she could Elizabeth Warren couldn't endorse Bernie. Because she wants a seat in an administration, and she knows Bernie's not going to get it, so she's being like calculating politically. Yeah, but but the and, whole and, and what, using what I her would, leverage. What I would say with what, what I where I would agree yeah. with Ryan is that like this is the kind of lack of any kind of real strong conviction or morals where you just kind of go like, well, yeah, you Bernie play would have, Bernie would have fucking it. taken that hit, you know? It's like, and then you're not a fucking actually. Then it's like, then it's like, okay, case closed. You don't care what you're actually talking about. Like you're lying. Period. You know. But, well, it's it's just like well, you gotta you gotta win. You gotta you gotta. Well, it's, I don't even know if it's that. I think a lot of it has to do with the ego. I think a lot of people who like want to be the president think like, well, if I'm not gonna get the top spot, what can I do to ensure some sort of proximity to Which that power? Which is fine, but that I'm just saying in some of those cases, it was very like antithetical to what they were saying. Like there's I thought certain, the way if Joe Biden did that, you'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. And there's a lot of people that would be like, yeah, that makes sense. But Elizabeth Warren, when her whole thing was like, I'm the progressive candidate, yes. you know, I'm progressive life. And then there's essentially another candidate. You drop out, and there's another guy with that actually had a good chance with the exact same values as you, allegedly. And you're like, I don't. It's like, come on, like, Ryan. You're right, man. I mean, and Drew, they're saying this on the Hill too. Like Warren is a fucking sellout, dude. She's useless. And what the what is this shit of like? Sellout. Warren is a sellout. Sure, and- I'm not saying she's not. I'm I'm just saying that. I'm not surprised. Like none of it's surprising no one's at surprised all. Surprised about it, but it is like, okay, can we at least fucking all get on board with like what we, you know, this here? Like, okay, are we right? Are we now? Yeah. Like, like this person would like was lying from the beginning, and they didn't care about anything they said, and they're not a progressive. They're like, like to me, I Bernie th- was. I think she cares about what she says. I just think that she she will really do whatever she's gonna do to make sure that she can get it done. I don't I don't think that she's, she's gonna not, let though, someone else. She lost, and she lost in every way possible. No, but now, but, but, but then how do you know that? How do you know that you know Joe opinion. Biden doesn't put her in his Treasury Secretary when he gets if he just gets the fact a, that she's in that spot begging Joe Biden for a they lost, dude. Even if she is Treasury Secretary, the party lost and the country lost because Joe Biden is a is gonna lose he's a if you really do think what she claims to think that's what you would think what Amish just said yeah you're what what you're saying drew is you're saying if you do claim to think that you're saying hey get it be practical and get in line and do your job on this sinking ship this ship is sinking and get in line and work on the sinking of the ship that's what she's doing yeah they don't think it's she could have she should have joined bernie sanders it was the right thing to do and she's a goddamn sellout and she's gonna lose i bet you i bet you if she thought bernie was gonna get the nomination she would have made an alliance with Bernie, but she's well, not how, like ideological. Fucking that's not. Yeah, work, you though, can't. Right? Be, but I'm saying these, they're not operating off of ideological. I think if it was the other they're way operating. around, they would be. But Bernie Sanders, like to some degree, is actually operating on like. Yes, the elite Bernie is. And Warren Bernie was. Is, like, but Warren, people for example, are very when, when Warren sees, let's just go back to what happened. When Warren sees Joe Biden win South Carolina and everybody else take a step back, right? And then Joe Biden sweeps Super Tuesday. The writing's on the wall there that she drops out after that. And she goes, listen, it's going to be Biden, right? I hedged my bets. I stayed in and I hedged my bets. Is Bernie going to do better or is Biden going to do better? It's going to be Biden. I got to throw my weight behind him now. Yeah, so and she's that's, a sellout and, and she politics. doesn't deserve anything. She doesn't deserve any of that's our, saying, any you know. vote. But, she doesn't deserve vote. She doesn't deserve money. I mean, she, lose. she should lose but all her street, politics she weren't, she lose her all politics, street cred at the very least. You know what I mean? With, uh, yes, with and Bernie like, Sanders kept his. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan, Bernie, Bernie had these choices. Like Elizabeth Warren's with book Hillary. should get zero copies sold, you know? <laughs> I mean, people will buy it because they're dumb. But like B- Bernie had these same choices, man. He stayed fucking consistent. He believed in something and he never bowed to Hillary. He never bowed to any of them. And he came back again. And they still well, didn't. He endorsed, he endorsed Hillary and now he's endorsed Joe Biden. What do you mean? Sure, but but I'm talking about politically. He didn't tell anyone <laughs> out. Enough. He didn't stab anyone in the back. He's just kind of like, and dude, I mean, this is where I agree with Ryan. Yeah, but you were just shitting on him before, saying he should stab people in the back, and he doesn't have the the no, he doesn't have the people in the back. 
he should f- st- stick up for himself. Yes, he's too soft. And then in the end, he doesn't stick up for himself. And then when he loses, I love how he just goes like, hey, uh, Joe Biden's a great, okay, now I'm out. The race is done. Joe Biden's a great guy. I'm putting my support behind him. And then all these liberal establishment guys are like, it wasn't good enough, Bernie. Say it like you mean it. Like they're getting mad at him because they're like, <laughs> why didn't you say yeah. it faster, Bernie? It's like, dude, he fucking fought. He did his job right until the end. And when it was done, he said, okay, fine. I guess this guy's better than Trump. That's all you're going to get. That's all they're going to get. And that's what he did with Hillary, too. And I think it's fair enough, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, to me, he has not sold out his morals at all. But Warren, there's a clear line where she sold the fuck out, man. She doesn't know what she believes in anymore. And this is consistent with Crystal Ball, even. Hey, who's I, your most hated right-wing figure right now, Amish? Like, who do you think's like, the biggest loser out of the right-wing figures right now? There's so many. Um, like, like, you hate Tucker Carlson, like dude, ben, ben Shapiro, or is that too obvious? But, like, David Rubin. Is there anyone you just, specific hate? I just saw a great video about how David Rubin just bought his own bought like his own book. Like he's getting okay. mad. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a big thing on the conservative side like they'll just buy their own stupid book right it's, it's like you don't like why does ben shapiro have a book it's a, oh, is it is ben shapiro is your book a number one new york times bestseller freedom at any price or whatever the fuck where where um a guy named like al shapiro saves america from from muslim terrorists it's the dumbest shit you'll ever read ryan but he gets his number one because he buys his own books i mean they're all they all kind of do that yeah, you can you can game that system if you gotta, if you want to drop the cash on it. Yeah, but Ruben is just so dumb right now. David Ruben. Okay. Do you think that too, Drew? That Ruben sucks. I honestly don't watch a lot of David Ruben. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, oh, I from what, what, what I've seen, he's kind of like a clown. I think like Stephen Crowder is a pretty big clown. Yeah, know, that guy pretty... is like yeah, that guy. just so obnoxious. He's the thing is, those guys aren't even funny. They're just like trolls, funny. and the and the appeal to like Reddit like four chan people. Like, I care mostly about. I don't know. Funny more than anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, Crowder Crowder got was told that by the head of uh, maybe Roger Ailes or maybe someone at Fox News that like, hey, because they tried to out Crowder and they were like, you're not funny though, dude. Like they straight up and like he brought he brought his best heat, and they said, okay, but there's no jokes. Like none of it's funny. No, so, he's not very funny. Sorry. <laughs> like, oh, it's great. He did 10 hours of anti-abortion. That's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not, it's, <laughs> you know? It's, like, it's ideologically driven. And... <sighs> so much. So brainwashed. So, yeah, like, who... Uh, the only ones that probably are those guys that are funny. Like, Gavin McInnes was funny. If you like him or not like him. He's a funny Gavin guy. was so funny, but you are funny laughing guy. at him a lot of times. Like, a lot of times, he's almost playing this hit character... Yeah, the way like Jackass was funny or whatever. Yeah, no, no, Gav- Gavin was so funny. There was, yeah, he, was he, funny. he was funny, but in the end, I mean, he did go crazy and just start a weird thing too. Like he and 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 even when I did his show, like Ali, when he brought on Ali on his show, it was right after the Paris terrorist attacks, and he brought on Ali as like, so this next guest uh, was behind those terrorist attacks in Paris. Give it up for Ali, and he brings him on like that. Oh, he even God. What did Ali think of that? <laughs> Ali said, hey, hey, uh, don't give me all the credit. There's a whole team behind it. Like, he, oh, okay. he, he basically... He, he rolled with it, yeah. He rolled with it, and that's what he told me to do, too. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I actually, I actually asked him before I went, and he's like, he's like he, this is what he did with me. And uh, just yeah, he was so stressed out about this Gavin McInnes interview. <laughs> hey, I think it's important, man. These bigger, the bigger the hits, because because you are playing with fire on that conservative side, and that's yeah, what I mean so. about Bombshell and that other movie. It's like you're yeah, that's hot. what I'm a little bit, but I mean, when I'm like here, it's like sure, there's the sort of like industry darlings, and there always will be, but it's like the comedians that made like the fucking you know the top ten highest grossing comedians last year are all people that fucking aren't playing the like politically correct game like they're just doing whatever and doing yeah. whatever they want um well but that's because they've also been they're, they're like name brands who've been around for a long time not really i'm so talking about don't the have fucking, to. no i'm talking about like andrew schultz and these people like these schultz like baby guys that, you know these oh, guys yeah, he came up. he's not he's not fucking he's just Tim do like these guys are just saying whatever the fuck they want like and they have huge audiences because i you think gotta give it up to schultz and young Joe people Rogan. you know young the puritanical side's never gonna be able whatever it is the puritanical media is never going to hold the like minds of the young people. It's always going to be the rebellious side. That well, yeah, you know, comedy comedy has yeah. to be somewhat subversive and transgressive to like and music comedy, too, right? like you know? just anything. Yeah, and and it's, there's like be- an honesty, right? Like there's there's if someone's real, it, it'll it'll come through 
And I do think there is a lot of dishonesty on the left, on like on mainstream left or whatever. There is a lot of like, hey, everyone just get in line and pretend you're into this guy. So that is what my only, I, my only issue though is sometimes with like the more kind of like uh, I don't know edgy comedy that we're seeing now of like yeah. all that. There's a lot of like straw man arguments that I see made to kind of make their point and like fight mm-hmm. the uh, fight the like woke police or like the political yeah. correctness. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I like, mean, right I, I, I can explain to you. Like for, for starters, that's just bad, bad, uh, bad comedy. But for a second, it's like. That's the problem is they're trying to make a point instead of trying to be funny, right? That's like mm-hmm. what you just described is like, the fa- they're like building up arguments and breaking them down because they think that, you know, bad comedy on both sides is always right. like really, it's propaganda for an ideology rather than actual comedy, right? Yeah, and, and also like we could also just take those things as like the first start of a, con- a, as the beginning of a conversation. But I think a lot of what's fake about the left and where the dirtbag left doesn't give a fuck but like mainstream <laughs> like non dirtbag left they kind of do this thing where they go don't even look like just like trump's like don't even look at him i can't believe you would even pay attention to him he's gonna win stupid he won yeah, like, like oh, oh oh like you should watch these people's podcasts they're all big oh i'm sure you listen to come down you're like it literally does fucking like four million dollars on patreon a year so like <laughs> Yeah. Why wouldn't I? I mean, and even even some like Joe Rogan, like the first two three years when he brought yeah, yeah, out all those ignoring con- Joe Rogan, he's like he does more numbers than fucking Steve Colbert <laughs> and Seth Meyers combined. I know, and if people are trying to cancel him. He's in his house, idiot. You can't cancel someone <laughs> in their house. He's in his fucking basement. Are you stupid? Yeah, he's just got his own numbers. Every once in a while, like a movement comes up to try to cancel <laughs> Joe Rogan, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, now I think, but now enough of like derp. I don't know if my, does Michael Brooks count as dirtbag left? Like, there's I don't enough. Know Michael of, Brooks. What's that? Yeah, that's somewhat. Yeah, but he's more like hard news. He's more like hard news. But yeah. Well, they did the great piece today actually about how Dan Crenshaw, who's like this Navy SEAL, goes on Joe Rogan, and he's trying to bring that right wing heat. Dan that like Crenshaw I don't want. Stinks. He's, yeah, but he is a the Navy. I like the eye patch. patch. The eye patch is sexy, dude. <laughs> it is very cool. Dude, he's sexy, man. And, and cool. he, but he he is he is a he's not the brightest. I I don't know whatever. He's because he, no. Joe Rogan got him so good, and not even on purpose. Like the guy's talking about how like well you can't have the government doing anything because the government screws and and Joe Rogan's like okay so but what about the military isn't that government and he's like no well. Okay, here's the thing. You got to like it's just it's I've been saying this for years. The well, US no, military is like the say... biggest communist organization in yeah. the world maybe. There's no money coming in. Ryan, what do you think of that? Sorry. Well, that's what I think that's where the dirtbag left is like a good term because it's like, you know, when when they were talking about whatever you would talk call the fucking libertarian kind of comedians that weren't on the left and then they, people would say right wing, but that's not what they are, but it's like mm. really it's like people that were like fucking cool and not puritanical. And then there's the like right wing that fucking wants to control you and the left wing that wants to control you. And yeah. then there's people that like, you know, don't want to be controlled essentially. It's that idea of, you know, it's like both sides, like both sides, like, you know, they want, they like, they like to, they like choice and freedom, except for when it comes to your mind, you know, as long as yeah. it like aligns with them. Yeah. They want all the choice except for the one that they don't like. And then as soon as you do the one they don't like, then it's like, well, they, you don't have that choice anymore or whatever. Yeah. So I think in art, which is like, you know, if we're going to go back to that, like in art, I think that was like a, a important step to like kind of realize that this is people like me and you are way more in common than fucking you have with some like hardcore feminist or I have with some fucking Dan Crenshaw. Like it's of course. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Dan Crenshaw. Okay. But then what do you, what do you think of that Dan Crenshaw? Like <clears throat> Dan Crenshaw is for the listeners. Dan, Dan Crenshaw I mean, is a fucking uh, old, like, fucking... congressman from Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Old boomer fucking, you know, I bet you I could tell you all of his opinions on everything without ever fucking even talking to him. It's like, he just has the entire catalog. Here's the 12 things I think. Now let me go. They're preachers. They're just fucking preachers. Yeah. You know? and they well, yeah, they, 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 they do talking thing. points. And I think like, that's a good thing where comics shouldn't be doing talking points. A comic should be yeah. like a distilled point of view. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. it's you, you're, you're, you're coming at the world with like a little bit of a critical eye and you're trying to like suss stuff out and put it in your own words and your own thoughts. You're not, you're not rehashing a party line. That's yeah, not what yeah. you're doing. You no, and that's why yeah. it's, that's why it's so rude to call someone a conservative. Sorry, Ryan. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I mean, Colin Quinn, Colin Quinn I'm has fucking, a really, 
It's so funny because, like, when I was younger, it was the conservatives that were like trying to take all my shit away because we yeah. were fucking swearing and talking about sex and stuff. And I, well, I think Pete, you just mean that I'm, you know, I, I think what you mean is that I'm like uh, liberty minded because I, you know, whatever. I'm not, yeah. a, I'm not a socialist. Yeah, you don't you're, wear underwear. Yeah, you're liberty minded. <laughs> <laughs> you go commando. <laughs> I let I, I let my boys be free. I, I believe and, in freedom. Um, yeah, and I'm like, no, nah, uh, you know, I'm not like a fucking free speech guy. But it's like, again, if you want to be that, whatever, that's the war that's taking place. But I'm not obeying that. Like, you're not gonna tell me what to fucking say in my like, art. Well, like, I, I'm I not think... gonna fucking whatever. No, exactly. And I mean, if yeah. if whatever you say, like, people can respond to it right the whole idea of not engaging with it is like sure that's another response but you're not going to get anyone to shut up right yeah, by not engaging yeah. with it like it's 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 all about discourse or whatever and if you don't have yeah. what it takes to back up your argument against it then why do you have a problem with it in the first place like like yeah. be, be be more critical be more analytical more generally as a culture and i change my opinions on shit all the time you know what i mean for like, sure yeah know. yeah no, I do, I do not like when people, and both sides do this, where they go, like, don't even talk to that person or don't even discuss this opinion. Like, how could, like, there are these, like, sacred cows on both sides that I don't, that I feel like you got to get, the real interesting stories are in the middle. Everyone needs to turn everything into a religion, you know what I mean? So whatever fucking thing they are, they got to make their commandments and everyone's got to obey it. Yeah, yeah. And people don't realize that, like, that, like the real world isn't their religion, their commandment. No. It's like... Mm -hmm. and, they, and they also don't realize that people for the most part in real life get along pretty good yeah <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. yeah man that's the other part it's crazy damn we should uh we should wrap up but uh ryan is there anything you want to shout out anything you yeah, want to the boys what? cast with ryan long that's my fucking my pod boys 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 yeah boys 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 the podcast are you, it's are been doing the what? Sorry, say. Are you that. still doing fuckonomics as yeah, well? Yeah, I do fuckonomics, but nice. the boys cast like it does pretty big numbers right now. That's kind of like my main. That's my main like thing. I'm kind of pushing everyone to. Okay, boys sick. Cast. Yeah. Boys cast. Still need for boys though. If you're a girl. And, you're and what's your uh, social media handles? If no, girls love it more. even more. Are you fucking kidding me? You know how many people? <laughs> you Joe Rogan? It's pretty, we're gonna find out it's more girls. Dude, I, do get a up lot of, I, I I get a lot of girls messaging me that say they listen. Yeah, <laughs> dude, how it's wild like, when when a bunch when someone tells you like you're not allowed to have that opinion and it's like all these girls that you know are DMing me that opinion. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, but they I are. I think I should try that with race and see if it works. How do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> the, white, the whites only cast, and you're like, it's not. It's, not, it's just a marketing tactic because they they don't like being told they're not. And you're like, it doesn't work that way with race, dude. Well, I could just like, I'm I'm just proud of being Hindu. I'm yeah. a Hindu. It's the Hindu nationals. That's my yeah. podcast. <laughs> It'd be podcast funny if you only had if you had the whites only podcast, but you only had black people with the last name White. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. But no, yeah, Boys Cast with Ryan Long and it, and my uh, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, everything's at Ryan Long Comedy. And okay, I sick. A vi video every Monday, podcast every Friday. Amazing, dude. Beautiful, Machine. beautiful, beautiful. I mean, sh you want to you want to shout anything out? Uh, well, people know where to follow me. I'm at Fade to Brown. I'm putting up videos and uh, stuff all the time. And uh, yeah, just keep I listening. haven't been all the time in the last three weeks. Ooh, I've been, right. I've been <laughs> recently cruising through your Instagram profile. I know. I love how Ryan, Ryan didn't take always me too far to get to May second. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Ryan has always been just like a hard work influence in my life. I remember one time I did a show, and he's like, "No." Nah, Killed, killed, and then after Ryan goes, nice jokes from two years ago. Write new material. <laughs> I'm like, <"Whoa." laughs> the classic. It's like Amish comes up with classics. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was him. <laughs> classics. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Yeah, fuck yeah, homie. Well, I'll tell you what. If the corner, if like any comedy clubs in Toronto do open first, I will come back. So then I'll hang out with you guys. Tell me, well, man, we yeah. can't. We can't wait to have you back. Uh, that's been our episode. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you uh, next uh, bonus episode. Let's yeah. Bye. Let's come to another. 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 Let's come to another.